<laughs> and we're live. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Super Conqueror. It is in the auction currently. I don't know why there's an auction going on right now, but there is one. Um, and a lot of players are going, oh, re, no. The Super Conqueror is getting nerfed. Should it get it? Ah. But is it actually getting nerfed? Is it? really going to be nerfed in the future or are the rebalances actually going to kind of make the tank cook and maybe you should consider buying it who knows anyway what's up everybody it's royal finest here and welcome back to the channel and to another live stream great to have you guys here on this tuesday evening uh trying to fit in a few more streams before my semester starts up again so uh yeah do show some support smash the like button it is sincerely appreciated thank you very much okay so S Conk, as you know, currently in the auction, and it will be rebounced in the future. I would assume maybe next update, uh, sometime within the next month, is my is when I think these changes are going to happen. Uh, so I will discuss those changes and why fundamentally I don't think it'll change too much other tank plays, and why it is still one of the most perfect heavy tanks in the game. But before that, hello to everybody in chat. We have Bebo, Tile, uh, Damien, Random Human, Lewis, Trevor, McPower, Josh Black, uh, Curtis Brooks, Rattel, Mr. Pyro. Uh, who else do we got here? John, Great Grey Owl, Boy Clan 96. Good to see ya. Welcome back, Helmy. Good to see you as well. The true human. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, it's 3 a.m. here. Get some sleep. It's not the weekend. Go. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> okay. 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 I was going to buy it because of the hash, but now I changed my mind. I ah, see. That is a good question. Let's begin by discussing the Super Conqueror in its current state and how it's going to be in the future and why you may still want to consider using or purchasing this vehicle. Obviously, I'm not telling you to buy stuff. That's completely up to you, but just why it might still be a worthwhile purchase, if that makes sense. So, um, Fatness Sound is kind of low. Ain't no way. Let me check my gain on my microphone. Should be good. Is it really low, guys? Is it really low? I have my microphone set to max volume. It should not be low. <laughs> well, let me know if it if it's working out. I, I think it should sound fine. I actually turned up my audio gain earlier, so it should be louder than before. All right. So currently, Super Conqueror has, in my opinion, one of the. <laughs> okay. But sorry, I was I got distracted by reading chat. Ah, yeah, yeah. My brain is all over the place right now. Uh, currently, Super Conqueror, what's going for it? Right now, it has a very solid gun. 2,850 DPM running grammar, 226 uh, millimeters of APCR pen, or is it 326? Let me check. Okay, it's three, 326 millimeters of APCR pen, decent AP pen, 110 hash, right? So it has all those great British things going around for a good DPM. Accuracy leaves a lot to be debated, but it has good dispersion on move. It also has like a 4.6 second aim time. For reference, the 2 and 5B is running like 2.6 second aim time. So it takes forever to aim. And that means with the Super Conqueror's gun, you kind of just point and shoot and hope your shot lands somewhere within the center of the reticle. It kind of sucks at snapshots and long distance shots, but low key, it's kind of goaded at shooting on the move at targets. And like at close quarters, you just don't aim, which is always pleasant when it comes to snapshotting and not exposing your armor profile for a while. Really a weird gun, but it works pretty well. Um. Armor profile, it's one of the most versatile in my opinion. The thing that makes the Super Conqueror really great is it has a pretty darn strong haul down armor profile. Thanks to the spaced armor, your cheeks aren't really an issue. The only real weak spots you have to worry about on this tank frontally is the hatch, which is quite rounded. Quite often, tanks need premium shells to pen it reliably, uh, unless it's a TD or something. And of course, the corners along between the gun manlet and the spaced armor. If you look closely on the sides of the turret, that and the turret ring. So like those little areas can be penned if you're sitting stationary. Usually, the opponents will require premium rounds to pen that. However, you have 10 degrees of gun depression. Utilizing 10 degrees of gun depression, you're bouncing most shots that go towards your tank. So yeah, gun depression, haul down, turret armor, works great. However, the hull also has pretty darn good armor too. You have spaced armor along the upper plate, which means on flat ground, you will bounce quite a few standard shells, but most premium shells will still go through it. What people do not remember though about this tank is not long ago, the vehicle got a lovely little side armor buff. That means this is no longer a pure haul down 
heavy tank. In fact, you can even angle it to some extent and wiggle it to bait players into shooting these massive tracks. And big surprise, it side scrapes pretty darn well. You can actually 1v1 an E100 in a town environment side scraping. So that opens up a lot of possibilities. Unlike your E5 or your Chieftain Mark VI or even your 215B, your more generic call down heavy tanks, this one has the ability to side scrape. So you can play in a town environment and you can play in a medium hold down environment, whatever you want. The armor is very versatile like that. It has its issues, but it trades those issues to have a lot more versatility than some other armor profiles in that game. And that's lovely stuff. Mobility doesn't, it's not really that great. It's like 34 top speed, pretty poor traverse, pretty poor acceleration. Uh, it's middle ground heavy tank mobility, not outstanding, not terrible. So that's basically the current state of Super Conqueror. I find it to be a very versatile, the perfect kind of heavy that can play wherever it wants and get away with it. What's gonna change about this tank? It's gonna lose its hash. I know. Terrible. So sad, ain't it? So it's gonna drop down to 60 millimeters of HE pen, which is pretty standard for most tier 10 heavy tanks. It's also gonna lose a little bit of AP pen and premium pen. There is a, maybe a typo on Wargaming side. If it's not a typo, it's massive. They label the ammo type for the readjustments as AP, AP, HE. If this vehicle gets 320 millimeters of AP premium penetration, you will have no problem penetrating like anything you go against. So might be a typo, might be real, who knows? But what really changes is the tank losing 0.3 seconds on that reload, which means 2,950 DPM running rammer, all right? So you still have good, good enough penetration vibes to run rammer on this tank, because a lot of tanks are losing pen anyways. It's not just the S-Conk that's losing pen. But you now have about 3k DPM. Good stuff. It will allow you to be a lot more DPM farm ask in that kind of heavy tank meta. And anything with near 3k DPM is great. So I would say future S-Conk is still going to be great. And the counter argument I've made to the hash, it's always great to have hash. But let's be fair, guys. A 2 and 5 B and a Chieftain really need to utilize that hash to perform well, in my opinion. They're very lightly armored, very mobile, great gun handling, and so it's very easy to use that hash to farm up damage. Super Conqueror is a much slower heavy tank, right? It doesn't quite go as fast as the others. It doesn't quite have to traverse acceleration or even the gun handling of the others. It is much better at just kind of hunkering down somewhere and slowly whittling away other heavy tanks hit point pools, right? So in my kind of like a counter argument to that is this tank is still going to be great at doing kind of more generic heavy tank stuff versus some of the other uh, heavy tanks like the 25B and the Chieftain Mark VI. So we're in Castillo for this first game. Let's just start hopping into this gameplay. We're going to pop a quick shell towards the Sheridan and you can see that dispersion. Well, it's not the best. If I try to aim it up, look, look, it's aiming, 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 finally aimed. It takes quite a while and that was not even max dispersion aim right there. So I usually recommend with this tank. I mean, obviously, if you have the time to aim in, go for it, but you can see how long it takes to aim in before I can even shoot at the Gorilla 15 there. Now, the reason I went to this side of the map is I want to have that map control. You can see most of my team are sniping at TDs or taking med side. They're doing well over there. Right now, we need to have the information on what's on this side of the map so we can continue cross firing out the enemy team. The 183's position is now known, and so are some of the other vehicles here. We also find out where the T124 is. So that's always kind of cool. Let's just not poke a T124. We do know where the 183 is as well. We'll just have to watch out for those itty bitty little crossfires. But already my TDs are making good work of the enemy's T124. And it looks like there's a TVP right there. Almost able to snapshot him. I'm glad I stayed angled up to this rock. And that's where that track kind of... Oh, well, he hit my space armor. That's where this space armor comes into play. Now, if this VK90 gets any more aggressive on me, it's not going to be the best for him. My main concern right now is what's that TVP going to do? Is he going to try to yellow out and like clip me from behind or something? That's going to kind of restrict my movements a whole lot here. But on the upper hand, my teammates are still doing pretty well on the hill. So we're not farming right now. We're doing generic holding heavy tank stuff. Our VK has safely crossed to the corner there, which is good. That means if the TVP gets more aggro through this side, he might be able to put a stop to it. And I'm actually going to get ready to start farming out this Gorilla 15. Now let's say the Gorilla has a spawn liner. I'm going to aim a shell in for the roof of his turret here. He does have a spawn liner, unfortunately. 
but he's also in like the worst possible position for a gorilla 15 so i'm gonna utilize it we're just gonna keep shooting cash at him here hopefully to catch him on fire there is a heightened chance we could but for now i'm just gonna continue farming out his tank as it's in the open we should be pretty safe all down here <laughs> to hit a rock <laughs> to hit a rock to for bobby i hear she works for catnip thank you very much uh great great owl for the donation it is very much appreciated and i uh, yeah I will uh, make sure Bobby gets her catnip. Ooh, there is an E4. It's an E4 track shot. Not quite able to hit him. So you can see with this vehicle, we can even aim up the hull here a little bit. TBP's ricocheting off of the side scrape, and he's just continuing to shoot the side scrape. So immediately, I was able to very quickly react to that TVP, start side scraping, so he could just bounce three shells off the tracks there. And the old Super Conqueror might not have been able to pull that off, but obviously in his current state with a boatload of side armor, it's able to very comfortably do that. We have a VK90 pushing up on me over here. He can yellow into me if he wants. I still have a crossfire with this 268. So if I just back straight down, he won't be able to follow me here. As you can see, this VK90 making a massive error there. That's why you should always just pay attention to what your allies are doing. So if you do get yellow, you can counter it. Piece of cake. Uh, this is a very chill and easy game thus far. Let's aim for the enemy Sheridan. Aim that one a little bit too high. I wasn't quite sure which side he was going to pop out on. Let me see if I can hit one shell on him, as I don't think the E4 is going to die before I can farm him out. So basically, we're not doing a whole lot of damage here. Aim. There we go. <laughs> The super cocker is good. Uh, gun handling, guys. Here, let's, here we, let's try our, our insane side scraping abilities, all right? Boom. Quick side scrape. Come here. Shoot my sides, buddy. Shoot my sides. Do it. Prove the viewers why s -Conk is low-key go to that side scraping. Come on, do it. Go for it. Go for the side. He doesn't even know where to shoot. This poor, poor E4 is so confused. Well, not the most high first game, I will tell you. Thank you once again, Greek Owl, for the donation. Always, always. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah, yeah, we did generic heavy tank stuff, didn't we? So, if I was in a 2 and 5B or any other kind of heavy tank, I mean, we still did 3,200 damage. I personally find, good job, STB, you found up well there. I personally find on, that, is that dude's avatar just blacked out? Oh, he was blacked out for a second, the VK, it looks super weird. Um, I personally find versus 2 and 5B in Chief to Mark 6, s -Conk does not damage form quite as well. As you will see, the gun is not the best at snapping weak spots at distance. Close range, you won't have too many issues. We didn't miss a shell on the VK and stuff like that. Yeah, no problem. But it just holds really well. I mean, that's, the, that's the big thing. It stays alive. It has better survivability by a long shot compared to the other kind of heavies. And I would even argue, in a, in a sense, it has better survivability than a... Look at T125 because you can hold a lot more comfortably. If I was a T125 and that TVP pulled out on the ridge there to shoot at me, it doesn't matter if I was angling my traction. He would pen me through the sides there regardless, and I would have lost to 960 hit points on average, right? So that's just kind of the difference, right? No, it's 930, not 960. It doesn't have 320 alpha, but yeah, you get the idea. Anyways, good map for us for the second battle. We are going to be on Himmelsdorf. Lovely stuff. We're going to go push on the heavy side here because the only team only have a... Super Conqueror and an IS-7 versus me and a 2 and 5B. So with a British duo win, oh, we have an IS-7 too. We definitely are gonna go heavy side. I love taking this tank haul down. Always be aware of the hatch weak spot though. It doesn't matter how haul down you are. If you are exposing even a tiny bit of that hatch, it can be problematic. So one thing you need to learn how to do in this tank is to angle it up, at least between shots, a little bit here. So you can see the enemy Super Conqueror, he's trying to aim for my hatch. I ain't gonna give him those hatch shots. I, I really don't plan on giving him those free hatch shots on my tank here. You see the hatch shots are very tiny. He's giving me a bit of a side shot. Sadly, that shell went to Narnia. Uh, and I am just going to be yellowed by a TVP, I, I guess. I guess I'll kill him. Okay, so enemy TVP has already committed dead. He is no longer in the game. The Super Conqueror is still shooting for me, but I think I now see an opportunity to maybe begin pressuring their IS-7 a little bit here. He has overextended somewhat. Let's aim for a track shot to keep him in the open. Leo's rotating back this way. I am probably going to turn for me, but I also have an absolute Giga Chad Yagpanji 100 coming in for support here. I'm going to pull back so I end up not taking shots from the I-7 here. Unfortunately, the I think the Leo hit me there. This I-7 is still in a terrible position. Another shell into him. And you can see, like, at this engagement distance, yeah, I'm pretty much never going to miss an I-7's lower plate from this distance. That's the nice thing about having such good dispersion, right? On movement dispersion being super good, it just will not aim in well at long distance shots. 
So we have a Hori over here on our right side. Now that Tinker Premium AP might even be able to pin my spaced armor. We're just gonna chuck a shot at him, and unfortunately for him, he misses. But fortunately for me, my shot goes right where I wanted it to. Enemy S Kong's gonna shoot at me. Not a problem. Dude's learning the ways of the side scrape, and I actually hit a pretty goaded shot on his side there. We should just YOLO in here for the damages. S Kong isn't even looking at me here. Hmm. Can't quite HE aside. Maybe a headshot into this dude. 644 to the Sheridan. I will kind of miss that. Like, that's a scenario where the hash was just kind of absolute gamer levels and it allowed me to get a nice high roll into the Sheridan there. Regardless, it's like only an extra maybe 200 damage in the long, like, grand scope of things. Um, this dude is probably gonna die here in a moment. We'll aim under his spaced armor. Lovely. That puts me at about 3,800 damage. This was a steamroll game. This was an absolute steamroll game. The enemy team really should have taken advantage of their medium superiority there to go to the other side. Maybe let the I-7 Super Conqueror hold covered by a Hori and hope their flank can win fast enough, but... Uh, enemy Leo, enemy TVP, ah, they did a big time Macus there. So there we go, 3,800 damage, optimal, optimal scenario, frontlining, and basically, it doesn't matter how well your tank is armored, in my opinion, always put yourself in a position where you can just pull back and be safe. Like, yeah, you can, you know, this tank's pretty strong haul down, but it also has weak spots on the turret that you have to keep an eye out for, so always just try and make sure, whenever you're in any tank, really, this goes for a lot more than just things like the Super Conqueror, that you just have a little bit of solid cover you can pull behind and just relax for a moment, right? It helps out a lot. I see so many E100 and mice players are like, I'm Chad, German Super Heavy. I'm going to YOLO. Uh, and then they get stuck in the open. They didn't think about their cover, but they're just sitting in the open angling, like wiggling their tanks. Like, guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to survive. Well, yeah, if you have nowhere else to go, eventually you are going to get killed. You might survive for a decent time there, but, you know, always just make sure you have that hard cover. Somewhere we can pull back and get safe. Uh, so for this game, the STRVK and the Object 260 on the enemy team are pretty good players. So we will have to keep an eye out for them. I expect them to go to the middle here. I have a 60 TP for direct support. It does look like our Sheridan and E75 are going to the other side of the map here. And the enemy's SDRVK is going to overpeak us a little bit. We're just going to wiggle the turret out. The reason I do that is just to try and prevent myself from taking any unnecessary damage there nice and early. Enemy patent overextended here is track him in the open. And I'm just going to kind of continue holding this spot here. This 260 really eager to shoot me, it looks like, man. Like, look, look, look at this dude go. I just put another shell towards the patent. It looks like my allies are not providing the most gamer support, but they are chilling in the back. You know what? Chilling in the back is good enough for me, guys. Put another shell towards this IS-7, and uh, unfortunately, that one goes a little bit lower than I was hoping it would. But for now, we are in a fairly optimal position for this tank. Just chilling haul down. Put another shell into this 260. And at this range, you're probably not going to miss a whole lot of your shots. Now, I'm not really sure what this SD-1 thinks he's doing, but I'm going to hope he falls down, because if he actually gets to sit there and stare at us all game, that could be a little bit annoying. We're just keeping an eye on our rear of our turret. Make sure we're not showing it to too many tanks so far. Gonna angle in the Super Chonker tracks a little bit. Nice. Our Vicar's unfortunately taking that shot. But this SD1, I think, realized he made a massive mistake as he falls to his demise. I7 and Patton are still there. It's me and this Vickers. I'm not trying to get in your way, Vickers, but obviously I can't overextend here. Especially this 260 just kind of pre-aiming for me. And Yoink! We hit our shot into the ground, guys. Do you see how talented I am? Now, in the future, I'd be reloaded right about now, which would be kind of saucy, wouldn't it? Quick shell into this Object 260 here. Currently, we are kind of gaming on this enemy team. I mean, I've done 2,500 damage. I haven't received a single shot yet, and we don't know where the Yag is. So the Yag's probably sniping in the back somewhere. I'm going to start pressuring this SDRVK here. 360 damage to him. Our, is that our E75 that just sent it? I, You know what? I'm impressed. Dude just full-on yolo that like it was nothing. Anyways, we're going to keep pressuring this dude, but I'm not going to overextend. Jaeger and 260 are both going to try and take the pressure off of me. There we go. He's going to go down anyway, so I wasn't too worried about him. Quick shell towards this dude, maybe. Not quite. Basically, that's game over for the enemy team. They've lost their highest DPM heavy tank. Their second highest DPM heavy tank is not in a strong position to hold right now, basically. Could just shot trap him here, maybe. And you can see, there we go. He does spend a heat shell through the weak spot on the front of the spaced armor. I did call it out as an area of concern when you're playing this tank. Even if you're haul down, you always have to be aware of those little spots. I'm going to start getting ready to push down onto their other heavy tanks now that the Yag is spotted in Narnia. And so we can get ready to just YOLO this object to 60 here. So quick shell to his face armor maybe. And yeah, I mean, this, this tank is going to be a uh, painful experience if you like really accurate guns. Now currently with APCR, the only problem with APCR is the pen drop off across the distance is terrible. You can see how even at that distance, I'm not quite able to pen the Yag's superstructure. Up close, I can. 
Wait, the moment you put distance on is terrible. That's why I wrote supercharged on this thing. Also, it has completely goaded shell velocity with supercharged. Like, you can just insta hit, which is nice when your gun is not very accurate. At least you don't have to pre lead the shots too much. Um, it's going to keep kind of sending it in on here. And hopefully, we will get close to 4k damage out before this game is over. I think I'm at just under, you know, three and a half or so. Let's put a quick shot to this Jaeger here. We managed to bait the shot to our outer drive wheel by traversing inwards last second there. And this Jaeger is very much going to die before I can do much. Maybe a track shot. Ah, eh, poor shot by me, to be honest. He's just kind of looking my way now. I mean, I, I guess there isn't a whole lot for him to do. You know what, buddy? I'll let you shoot me once. Here you go. Get a free shot. Huh. Interesting play. Um, yeah, there we go. Piece of cake. Hold on, s -conk. You may miss your shots, but hey. Hey. Some of those shots actually kind of did poorly into my part. I will take credit for that. 3.8. I would have had 4K if I had a fluff that drive real shot on him. I should have just loaded APCR up there and guaranteed the pendulum lower plate. I figured I'd try and track him there. Um, there wasn't much the 260 and STRVK could really do about me there. I mean, the 260 can try poking that corner, but regardless, this tank has six degrees of gun depression, maybe even five. I think it's six and mine has 10, right? I'm going to be able to shoot him way before he can get his gun down to shoot me there. It was just kind of a chill hold on simulator versus their heavies and basically game over 3.8k damage. Another pretty easy dub in this tank. Famous, remember when we played together on Rockfield today? Uh, DV. Yes, I do. Was I in the s that game? I think I was. You were in the T62A, and we both kind of pushed the outside of C-Cap. I do remember. Good game that was. All right. So for this next battle, I'm going to probably go to the middle portion here. If I was in a turn 5 I'd probably either YOLO town to farm DPM side or go with the meds to try and support them directly. But as I am just a Chad Super Conqueror, I'm going to go up over towards the middle here and hopefully get some holding positions in. Now... Crownwagon's not a tank I'm really eager to deal with frontally, but, uh, you know, if we if we have to, we can probably deal with them. M48 pound on the enemy team. I wish I had crossed up on the right side. I could have pulled up enough to shoot his hatch there. Unfortunately, as I had this rock in the way, that was my only opportunity to shoot anyone. Enemy super conquer being quite aggro here. Let's put a quick shell into the back of his turret. And so now we have a decent understanding already where the enemy team is headed. Uh, enemy Super Conqueror is kind of below me here, so it's aim for the hatch, maybe. Not able to hit that, sadly. The Patton pushing forward, so I'll pull back a little bit there. Enemy Patton making a wee bit of a boo-boo here. Shell to his lower plate, and yeah, I mean, this is just mid-holding stuff, you know. Chill, chill, chill things in the s -conk. We'll put another shell to this Patton here, 394. He should get taken out by the VK or the 113. Enemy team, however, are clearly being very, very aggressive behind us. So... That leaves us with the question of holding our spawn. Nice. I'm going to go back and hold our spawn. Personally, we have a 183 for cover fire. I'm going to hope by at least one alley covers me. The V kick can hold the mid if he wants. I'm going to do my best to prevent the enemy team from pushing it behind us. So quick shot to this Vickers here. We've spotted the 405 as well. Basically, I'm here to prevent my allies back there from getting stuck in a crossfire. Obviously, if we're all staring at the front of the map, what's going to happen when that lovely Vickers and 405 decide, hmm, three damage. They're just going to yellow in and eat all of us. Now, the Crown Wagon came back for me here as well. I can pull back once again. They're going to have to overextend a little bit here if they want to YOLO into me. Let's put a track shot into this crown wagon here. We'll keep an eye on the Vickers. Ooh, 183 actually prioritizing the Vickers light there. Not a half bad play. Let's see, maybe an AP shot to his side. And <laughs> S-Con gun handling kind of trolling me a little bit there as it uh, as it do sometimes. But we're in a pretty safe holding position for now. Sort up a headshot for the Kron's turret. Nice, I will miss being able to do that. Not gonna lie. You catch a player that's distracted. Little 515 head shells are always satisfying. Kron fluffing another shell, let's pull back. Currently, I'm still holding really, really well here. And I know that if these dudes get any more aggressive on me, I can bait them straight into a 183's crossfire. So hopefully this Kron, he gets ammo racks and so he gets yeeted by the 183 the 405 might pull out here to shoot at me a few more times and the vickers is currently in the back so let's pick up a kill on him real quick we can angle our haul up here oh watch out 183 18, 18, he has three shots in the magazine i really wouldn't do that if i were you i'll track him in place maybe mm. okay the 183 is just trying to send it well you played a good game there 183 you, you did play a good game there and I think that's going to be a GG for us, Chief. 491 with the HG, and that's 4,600 damage dealt. So, nothing too crazy, right? I would like to call out, though, always, always, always pay attention to the crossfires and where your allies are positioned. 
I realized immediately that my team was not going to lose the mid in a mid versus mid confrontation. We had a lot of tanks holding that position there. One is probably salty that I uh, kind of uh, side hugged him there. Buddy, I was brazing you all game. It's not my fault you tried to squeeze in when I was pulling up there. <laughs> um, so basically, I noticed that our 1A3 was holding back a spawn. He would need someone to spot for him. There's no way he's going to outspot them really reliably there, especially when the enemy team have a Vicar. So they would need someone to spot. But more importantly, if that 1A3 fires once, the 4005, the Vickers, the Kron, all those things can just pull around behind us and just clip our tanks in the rear. So rotating back to hold there, requesting a little bit of help with the SOS button just to get the attention of hopefully someone on my team. And just having that 1-8-3 for crossfires and me holding in that ditch where I could use my gun depression, be very difficult to deal with, was all it took for me to farm up 4,600 damage and give my team a very comfortable win. And what could have been a lot more difficult of a battle. And so, yeah, that was a pretty good game, I'd say. For this next battle, I think what I would rather do here is support my team on Dune side. The enemy team have some pretty solid Dune's tanks, but so do we. The only problem is our s -conk is like, uh, there's just like big chilling in Narnia right now. I'm not really sure what our s -conk is doing. He's going to town, our 1A3 is going to town. Our TVP did turn around, but he kind of gave up any early spots we could have had. If that's the case, there isn't really many options for me here. If I overextend, I might get Omega farmed out here. Our s -conk was spotted. I don't know if the STB one was to do that, but the STB is running away. So that's a bit suspicious to me. And already our Leo is not spotting our last crossing. So looks like the enemy team are going town. They're going to have TDs in the back, obviously. But for the most part, we don't have to worry about anyone on this side, uh, at least as of right now. And I was able to read all of that just by seeing the movement of a single STB one and watching which allies got spotted. Kind of crazy, right? That's why you should always pay attention to that type of detail when possible. The enemy E3 is stuck there. And the enemy team is just absolutely sending it across. Now, that was a pretty poorly led shot. I actually let it right into the rock because I didn't see it through the, the tent there. And I think our super conqueror is probably going to perish pretty soon here. That shot went low. It's going to go for a blind fire. That leaves me with two options. Rotate back to support our s -conk and our TDs on spawn or try and push it on the enemy spawn here. Now, the only issue that I see with pushing for the enemy spawn in this scenario is that they have an E3 that's holding Hall down. It's gonna be a bit difficult for me to push into an E3, especially with the STB spotting up for support and stuff like that. We have a 57 over here in the middle as well. So I think what I might do is kind of go towards the entrance of down here, and hopefully we'll be able to spot up the STB one. I know the E3 is back there somewhere. Basically, I'm gonna see if I can go Hall down back here to any extent. We have this bush for cover fire, and the STB one is shooting at me, but we also know where the E3's position is now. So that's good news. Um, STB one might peak this for me. If he does, it's not a good idea on his part, as I'm always going to out-trade him there in terms of alpha damage. Nice. Interesting. Okay. STB getting nuked. E3 getting nuked. Leo getting nuked. TVP is going back for Leo. Our 1A3 does get himself nuked there as well. I done messed up, guys. I done messed up. I should have gone and held outside dunes. Basically, our 1A3 died. Our Super Conqueror died. Now we have no one else holding our spawn. I won't have to worry about crossfires too much in a moment here. I think if we can kill this Minotaur, that'll be a massive W on my side, getting that auto rotor out of this game. So let's go for a kill shot on him. All right, clear on the Minotaur. I'm retaking our spawn control for now. No need to YOLO in. No need to get myself killed. All that matters for me is just to kind of stay alive and hold this ditch hole down. Hopefully the E3 doesn't shoot me this side. That's my priority concern why I'm using this rock as cover, even though he should get spotted if he pokes that. You just never know. Uh, once the E3 is taken out, and we figure out where the 4005 and 57 are. So there's a 57. We know the s -conk's right back over there on pretty low HP. And the Sheridan's not here. We still are not quite sure where some of these other tanks are. But this 57 is going to give me a side shot. And 57 armor profile goes burr. You're not going to bend it. Apparently not. All right. So enemy 57 is still giving me some slight shots here. So let's put another shell to him there. Currently, I'm doing okay. Shout out to our Yag, our STB, I mean, our Leo and the other dude. They've been pulling off some pretty good crossfires over on that side of the map. And we have a 4005 here, which, wow, I ricocheted off a 4005, guys. Nah, I didn't, I didn't fluff an HE shell. I straight up ricocheted AP. We can kind of side scrape against this fool, but oh, it's a Sheridan. Angle up the sides a little bit there. Both of them bouncing off of me, including the enemy Super Conqueror. And this Sheridan has just given up on life, I think. All right, let's uh, let's put a quick kill shot into him there. Missed my fire button. And we're just going to keep side scraping here. And watch us get that ricochet damage into side scrape. 405 thinking maybe he has a shot on me, but not quite. He bounces 1,520 damage onto me there. I mean, I'm telling you, man, do not underestimate the Super Conqueror's ability just to hold aside. This dude definitely doesn't have a spell liner. Oh, he does. I rolled exactly average with hash, 515. Because it was a max roll. Could have been 644. Feels bad, man. Um, yeah. 
basically that's that's game over with I didn't do a whole lot of damage this game but you know what I think I was a pretty helpful teammate in terms of just being around to prevent the enemy team from moving all the real work actually went to our probably our Yag TVP and Leo one there especially TVP and Leo one they really did a good job pressuring the enemy spawn I was just more concerned about getting a W Right, so yeah, tiny 200 damage. Yeah, not not the highest damage. Good job to the Leo. Actually, good job to the 263 as well. He he did pretty good farm for a tank with no gun depression there. But basically, my my whole point there, I didn't want to just completely throw away our spawn and yellow in through the mid or yellow the meds. Because if you do that, then tanks like that 4005 Sheridan, you know, could just pull up their cross farm allies out. So I kind of anticipated I wasn't gonna farm a whole lot there and instead just be a nuisance in the enemy's spawn or our spawn actually. Uh, so the next map here is gonna be on mines. And so far we are still doing pretty darn well in the super conqueror. I'm telling you guys, this is just a very solid tank and I think it's still gonna be a very solid tank even after the changes because yeah, man, if this tank actually gets 320 premium AP, dude, that front E100 turret, that front Yag superstructure, you're going to butter it. Absolutely butter it with no problem. APCR doesn't really do so well against angles right now. So obviously if I'm running calibrated, I have like 340 APCR. Yeah, no problem. But I do like having DPM as it's kind of one of the things that makes this tank stand out right now. So I am currently going to keep running it with Rammer. Ooh, let's angle up our hull a little bit here. Maybe a hat shot, not quite. And so unfortunately we have completely lost a hill here it looks like my allies are already kind of getting crossfired out by the Cairo on the enemy team Bashaltion could be a problem as well here enemy team have a lot of very strong vehicles they also have the better spawn for holding on this map in my very humble opinion there are a couple of sp spawns on this map which are just a lot better theirs is a lot better this one ain't it chief this one definitely ain't it chief all right maybe pen the lower part of this dude getting the ricochet there let's just pull back a little bit from here e5 is getting he kind of farmed it looks like or not the e5 the 60 tp is getting he farmed pretty pretty chad 60 tp player there i want to think about what position i'll be most helpful at if we can get rid of this caro we can bait at least two of these dudes to shot i'm crossing corner for a side scrape that's my goal. Our 60 TP is going to create a bit of a diversion here. I'm going to see if I can utilize that. Quick shot into this dude. We only take two shots, which honestly was my criteria for crossing here. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we get to set up the oh so lovely side scrape here. Quick shot through the front of his turret. Put an angle up a little bit there. With APCR, he's actually not very easily able to hit the pen me here. Obviously, a type might be able with its heat shells, but for now, we're, we're kind of chilling for now. Basically, I went here just to be a big time nuisance to the enemy team. That's all basically just a big time nuisance here i don't have to poke i don't have to farm damage i just have to show up every once in a while put a shell into them pull back and now they don't have hill superiority initially they were able to pull all the way out for free but now they can right now that they have a giga chad esconk here and unfortunately he does spend my wow that's a pen marker on the hatch okay interesting unfortunately he does spend my hatch there I have seven on the enemy team getting Omega aggressive on me. Let's keep that side scrape going. Get another 390 APCR ricochet here. I seven is temporarily perma tracked for the time being. Let's aim for the type's lower plate. Another quick shot to him. R268 is not doing so much on the HP pool. I might pull back ever so slightly here just to make sure I don't get sniped up the hatch anymore. Types looking at me. My concern is, okay, the Carol did get taken down. So we don't have to worry about Carol crossfires for now at least. Yay, that's good stuff. Now the only concern right now is that just me and these other couple of heavy tanks here. Their Super Conqueror is in a really strong holding position for the time being. All right, we do manage to take a track shot from this dude. And their Super Conqueror is probably not gonna poke me anytime soon. And this type is probably gonna poke me. Sadly, type armor profile goes burr. We can pull back a little bit. For now, my rear safe. We know where the last four vehicles all are. If they're all gonna sit there and just chill, they can't really push with me in this position, which is the whole reason I went here. So it's kind of screwing over any push they can make right now. Nice shot to the Minotaur there, buddy. Super Conqueror turning down a little bit here. He's going for a bit of a relocation, which is good for me. Let's put a quick shell towards this dude's hatch, maybe. Not quite. Okay. Super Conqueror losing quite a bit of HP there, which is good. And he kind of threw away any positional advantage he had in that spot there. And let's see. Maybe I hate Type 71s. I'm just going to sit here. I just have to be a nuisance to the enemy team. That's all. Another APCR shell towards this dude. Sadly, didn't go through, but... No, the E5 went on a flaking maneuver. Now we're in a crossfire. <gasps> That's not so good, is it? All right, all right, all right. Eskonk, I can't really do much about him. I got to keep holding the front of the hill here. I got to keep holding the front and just let our 60 TP do that one versus one on that side. Come on, 60 TP. I know you can pull around them. Just don't get yourself farmed out here. Aye, aye, that's a rip. 
Okay, that was a Omega rip there by our 60 TP. If he had pulled around, he might have been fine there, but he didn't pull around, which was his mistake. And as a result, we are now probably going to lose the game. Sadly. Sadly. If the C5 kills me, here that is. Tracks. Ah. I did my best there. I did my best there. Uh, our 60 TP tune. I think they played it okay. I should have been able to farm more there, but I was getting scammed on way too many hat shots in that uh, Type 60, uh, Type 71 there. Of course, that tank has a rat armor profile. Yeah, the 60 TP stood fine. I think there wasn't really too much else for me to do there. The problem is we had this Andy over here. And this Andy over here, and this Andy over here, all die to YOLO a single carol. It's like, why? I'd rather them have YOLO'd into the enemy spawn through Townside where they had zero players, and crossfire out their heavies, and just leave the Caro to do his thing on that side. We can hide from the Caro. He's not an issue. If our 268 snipes and the Caro overextends to put shots into my Conqueror there, each Caro takes 670 to the turret. But the fact that three tanks suicided to kill a single Karo kind of screwed over our team's chance of winning. Because then it was just me and the heavies trying to hold the hill there. And we didn't even have hill control, which was kind of a, a huge issue. So the reason I did push to that corner was to try and give my 60 TPs more room to work around the hill, right? So they weren't getting constantly peaked over and over from the side there. And so I think I did my job in that regard, but I wasn't really able to farm up too much. Only 2.8k damage dealt there, and I probably could have had a 4k game. Obviously, that is the way, way worse side on, on uh, mines, in my opinion. Because the enemy team are looking down on you while you're looking up at them. So that as conquered the enemy team could APCR pen like my hatch, and I couldn't really hit his very well. Uh, it just kind of sucks when that happens, because that, that spawn is a little bit better for holding. If it was reverse spawns, I would, know, I would say just probably a 90% chance my team actually would have won that engagement. But uh, it is what it is. I mean, their team played pretty well. And, uh, you know, our 60 TPs did their best there. So you gotta, gotta give credit to our 60 TPs there. Okay, I'm not gonna sit out sideways. That'd be very stupid with an unspotted T124. Enemy Minotaro already getting quite aggressive here. Enemy 100 seems a bit lost in the sauce, but I can't quite pen him from this distance. Maybe here's where Calibrated would be nice. Gonna angle up our hall here. But I think for now, we won't have too many issues holding this side of the map here. Enemy Minotaro seems distracted, so let's put a quick shell into him. I did go to the corner here. I only have a Bosch Altheon for direct support, but honestly, I don't think I really need much else. Uh, 50-50 APCR pen? Yeah, APCR is terrible against an armored, <laughs> angled armor. Even if it's a slight angle like on that E100, just where AP would just be years better. Um, maybe if I get a high APCR roll, that's not happening. It's at distance! If, if, the, if he was like 100 meters closer to me, I'd be penning him no problem right now. Don't you just love the mechanics of APCR ammunition. <laughs> At distance, it's just like, no, I shall not pen. There we go. Okay, that one goes through. Lovely. All right. So, enemy Minerato is getting a wee bit more aggressive. He's going to show his drive heal, so let's take advantage of tracking him there. Our Bashathion is demonstrating how to die very, very quickly. Huh. Um, probably not the smartest move, Batchat, but you know what? Not the end of the world. We, uh, I can still hold corner here. <laughs> At least I survived uh, in the holding heavy tank here. Let's put a quick shelf towards this 121B. Nice little max roll. I can keep chilling here for now. Our 121's... Wait, am I spotted? Ain't no way I'm spotted. This dude resorts to just spamming HE at my tank here. Bleh. I'll damage your gun. Yeah, take that, buddy. Get your gun damaged. There's no way that was a... Yeah. Oh, maybe it was actually the 215B that HE'd me there. Nah, I think that was a splash, not an HE pen. Can't even pen, pen this dude when he's angling like that. Maybe through the corner of his turret there. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I don't wanna abandon our 263 here. Oh, oh wait, you stay right there just a little bit longer there, buddy. Yeah, there we go, perfect. All right, so we're 2,000 damage dealt so far. Um, I'm going to assume the T124 is not quite on this side here. This dude's backing up. Uh, the TBP is over there. T124, TBP on the enemy team. Let's aim for their TBP. More dangerous target and even fully aimed in. Wow. Wow. I did not think my whole team was just going to get themselves absolutely destroyed like that on that side of the map. Let's put a quick shot towards this 1-2-1. One, one. Our 2 6 is going to have to hold here. I'm going to have to hold his right-hand side from that 1-2-1 one, one and TBP, basically. All right. Maybe that 10 5 will give me a nice free shot on his tracks here. Okay, quick drive real shot into this dude. Me, this 2 6 can hold here for the time being. Um... I'll just have to keep these medium tanks down, like this TBP, this E4. Ah, uh, the dude's just sitting there in a crossfire now. It's all over, boys! It's all over! They have too many hit points here. Although, maybe if I can keep their E4 at bay. Come on, poke me, buddy. Poke me. 
Maybe if I kill their 2 and 5B with a Heschel or something. Might be worth it. Might be worth the poke here. Okay. We do manage to clear this dude out at least. The Karo. Oh, they have a Karo and a TVP and an E4. It's all over, boys. It's over for me. So I'm not really sure what the heck my allies were doing here. I mean, I was just kind of holding up this end of the map here. Doing my best, basically. Um, and my, my Pepega allies all got themselves killed in the mid. Our TVP, our Kronwagen, our 121, our 183 died. Even though the E100, the Minotauro, and <laughs> the 2 and 5 people were all over here. All they had to do was hold mid. But, I mean, we have a 0 damage Andy over here. We have a 1 shot Andy over here. Uh, our Vash shot Theon didn't make the wisest decisions in life. Our 263 did his best, but I'm, I'm kind of surprised because the 263 wasn't even with me for that engagement. It was just me and the Bat Shot holding for the longest time there. Obviously, I wasn't going to YOLO in because they still had a couple of unspotted tanks. I think they went A. But at the time, I wasn't sure if they were kind of spawn sniping. Um, and yellowing that side maybe would have been the best play later later half of the game. Clearing the 2 and 5 being 100 out there. But, I mean, what can you do when your whole team's dead? Auto loaders cringe. I know, I can't wait for auto loaders to get smacked back and forth. If they gave the Super Conqueror levels of armor to be broken, <laughs> the Super Conqueror's armor is more than sufficient. I think it just has a really good balance of armor, firepower, mobility, gun depression. Like, Wargaming doesn't need to change much. I think just removing a little bit of its hash pen, well, a lot of its hash pen actually, for better base DPM is going to be a dub. And if it does get that premium AP, this tank is going to absolutely cook. Absolutely. Like, premium AP that game, that E100 would have been dead. That was definitely a game where calibrated maybe would have been better for me instead of rammer. Oopsies. But I'm a rammer Andy. I like taking rammer when possible. And usually a 326 APCR from close ranges is fine, but dude, across distance, it sucks. The tier nine Conqueror has 100 and like 80 hash pen with, I think, um, what, what, what's that equipment? The calibrated shells, uh, but it's funny. The super Conqueror only gets 110, which can go all the way up to like 120 with calibrated, uh, which is not bad, but honestly, you don't need more than that to be fair. All right, we have an enemy type 71 here. Quick shot into his lower plate there. Nice stuff. We'll keep an eye out for their TDs. So decide to go generic heavy, si heavy side route, basically. And so far... Okay, so the enemy's grill is up there. Good to know. Looks like he hit me in my spaced armor on my hall. Lovely stuff. That's what this tank is meant for. And I think that leaves me a few more options here. We know where the grill roughly is. We know where the type is, the E3 is. The only anomaly would probably be the object 268. Um... But I would like to start working down this side of the map if it is at all possible. Enemy VZs over here. Enemy 60 TPs over here. It's aim a shot towards his lower plate there. Side scrape that angle in and we bounce 680, which... What the heck has 680 alpha damage? That an E3? Must be the E3 there. Oh, wow. We are getting HE spam now. We do bounce the 60 TP. Someone actually managed to pen me through my turret ring, I think, there. But eh, it could be a lot worse. We're still ricocheting a boatload of damage here. Uh, the enemy VZ, I think, is just chilling back here. It has to be the enemy's VZ. Quick shot into the VZ's tracks there. E3 is even lower HP. I'm going to keep side scraping out against the VZ here. Probably can pin his tracks there again. You can see just how good the Super Conqueror is at side scraping. This is something a T125 could never do, right? T125, as good of a heavy tank as it is, it could never hold a town position like this and block like over 2,000 damage already and just sitting and holding a corner. All right, enemy 60 TP is quite low HP. Can't really do a whole lot about him. The enemy VZ is getting a little more aggressive here. So I'm going to push up for the VZ so engine deck here. Quick little track shot into him. We should win this game on HP alone. My team is absolutely cooking here. And so we can just YOLO in. Hopefully pick up a clear kill shot of this dude. He gets taken out and just, just leaves the TVP and the enemy's gorilla. So not a half bad game here. I'll help you turn around a little faster there, buddy. Uh, buddy, what are, you, what are you looking at, buddy? Oh, we have ourselves someone who thinks he's smart. Look at this. Yeah. Wow. Large Chalupa over here. So smart. I like how I still picked up the kill. I never would have gone to the grill in time anyways, but it's kind of funny. We have ourselves an absolute brainlet of a Minotauro player. Large Chalupa over here. A very, very, very Chad player. Let's see what his uh, most late tanks are. Eh, not bad in the STB. He has okay stats, but to be fair. Playing like that, you get the M for monkey. Yes, the monkey. The M for the monkey. <laughs> Etrel size. Module will be 3.3 DPM with rammer. Uh, D DV tanker, I 
think the mouse does like 2750 DPM with rammer. It's it's not going to be 3K. I, I don't know where people keep getting 3K mouse rammer from. It's not going to be 3.3K. I can tell you that. <laughs> I can promise you that. It's going to be like probably 2750 or something. <laughs> I think that exaggerates too much AK DPM only. Yeah. Really? Maz, give me that. Dude, dude. DV! Just look at the mouse's reload currently with rammer and then see its reload reduction based on what wargaming have posted which i can look up really fast here if i look for the german tech tree heavy tank changes uh where are they so the mouse doo -doo 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 -doo, its reload will be reduced by 0 0.95 seconds right wait no no reload time and aiming time it was 0 0.4 in the aim time so its reload is almost a second shorter so just calculate its dpm based on that or i might have to do it myself if i uh, if people don't know how to do that, but it, I don't think it has 3k plus DPM. That would be absolutely ridiculous. All right, this could be a mistake knowing they have 183s, but judging by their heavy tanks positioning, they're not over here. So I'm actually gonna push across, try and get hauled down so I can cross fire out the 183s, which are probably gonna be on my right, um, somewhere on these back ridges or in the back of the enemy spawn. That's usually where they would be. I doubt they would push into A. Yeah, you can see 183 number one has already been spooted. There's 183 number two. So let's start shooting these 183s, 372 into this one. I'm actually going to get pretty aggressive on these folks because they are going to try and run away to safety. Hmm, kind of has shit. Let's go for it. All right, that box counts as spaced armor. I totally forgot that's not just a visual. Yeah, do be aware of that if you're shooting at 183 sides, guys. All right, so second 183 here. Can't really escape. Then again, my tank cannot snapshot for to save its skin. We will have to clear out this side pretty quickly here, however. What are you doing, buddy? Oh my gosh, why is our I-7 YOLOing in the same direction as me? He should be YOLOing in from behind. That would be much more logical, but uh, the I-7 is... Okay, the I-7 started clanking a little bit later than I wanted him to. He actually fluffs his shot, too. Amazing. So my team has lost spawn, basically all of middle. Me and the I-7 can definitely hold here to some extent, but I honestly do not trust on my allies in the slightest here. Yeah, basically they are going to get wrecked. Hmm. We are bouncing a lot of shots from tanks in the back over there somewhere. It's a 1 2 1 and a Super Conqueror that are back there. Good to know. Our I 7 wants to hold here in the open. Uh, you know what? I'm going to watch her flank. I'm going to watch for the 183 on her flank here. I don't want this dude crawling up and hashing one of us out of the blue. All right, there's the 183. What? Did he even have. Like, how did I not spot him, like, before? I'm surprised he even had a shot from there. That's poo poo. I just threw away so much HP for free there that I didn't have to. Quick shot to that dude. Well, if I still had that HP, I think we would have had a chance of winning this game here. I honestly do not think my team is doing well enough here for us to win this. I-7, you gotta focus the one-to-one, -one, buddy. He is in the open right now. Hmm. Hmm. All right, angle the side up a little bit here. He probably will hit my lower plate. Nice, he managed to bait the shell. Okay. We can probably pick up a kill on this DVP here if he keeps overextending like so. Lower plate. We're gonna have to watch out for that 183 pushing. Here's what I think is gonna happen here. And the reason why I'll have to kill these dudes first. That 183 is definitely gonna crawl up from back there. All right, they're all shooting, they're all shooting. Oh no, the 183 is not crawling up behind us, TVP. Do you manage to clear him out? 183 is quite healthy here, man, that's a rip. Okay. Basically, hmm. All right, angle up a little bit. Nice, we got one ricochet at least. Oh, he shoots hash. Sure he does. He just sits there. Oh, look what he hits that. Bruh. <laughs> well, that team was just terrible, wasn't it? Absolutely garbage. Um, Yay, I love getting just terrible teams over and over and over again. Welcome to the game. Another 4,300 damage there. And our talented TVP does zero damage. Our talented Caro does two shots. 183 does one shell. Our second TVP doing five shots there? Yeah, not even two full magazines. Buddy, what's this? You get the M for Monkey for doing two shots on a Karo. One of the easiest takes to play as a tier 10 auto loader med, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, what a team. Fanny's favorite food. Hmm. Uh, that's a hard one to say. I like a lot of food, honestly. I, I, can, I can never choose. It's always based on the situation. The Conqueror has a big head, be careful. Or a big haul. Yeah, very big haul there. Honestly, I kind of overextended on the 183 as I expected him to be not sitting, just pre-aiming there when literally me and the IS-7 weren't paying attention to him. Thought he would be rotating around, so I wanted to spot him up if he was doing that. But unfortunately, if I had the extra 1,000 HP, we might have pulled it off. 
2,761 threat damage. There you go. So the mouse will have 2,761 damage per minute uh, after the changes with Rammer. There you go. That That's the information you want. It won't have 3k. It definitely won't have 3.3k. Uh, but that's still good for a mouse, I will admit. Okay, back to the S-Conk. So I've just been getting absolutely diabolical allies. Like, I've been doing more than enough damage every single game here. I have been holding well. I've been doing my job as a heavy tank, but the issue is my whole team just dies in seconds. Like, it's hard to make a comeback. I mean, just look at what our Progetto is doing. Or not a Progetto, our Kara. He's just wandering into Narnia. Very impressive. I mean, maybe he'll find an Arnia. Who knows? Quick shell into their IS-8 here. Oh, I, I accidentally hit the Waffenträger blind. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, there's no way that missed, guys. There's, there's just no way that misses. And he's Progetto. Might overextend a little bit. Sadly, it doesn't hit. I'm not going to take any unnecessary shots. Enemy team already being quite aggressive in the corner here. Let's see if we can hit a shell into this Amex 50B when he goes to pull back in just a moment. Nice. We have allies for support there. Our team should be fine in corner. And the enemy 100 on the enemy team got spotted in. Enemy mm. 62 is also pushing in for our Progetto or Caro here. So it's time to start Hessian Fools. 573 Hessian to this fool here. As long as our Progetto is alive for a while longer on the flank, I don't have too much to worry about. Another Hessian shell into this fool. Yeah, that Hessian is definitely going to be missed. My only concern now is obviously we have a Tuddling 45 coming straight up for me here. So I'm going to back up a little bit. If he keeps yellowing through, good for him. If he chooses not to, probably the better plan there. There's the 4005. Maybe he'll give me a free shot on his turret here, or the waffle will. Has shot into him. Nice. We did have a small liner. And now I can just pull back and hold. That's all I have to do. The enemy team is all trying to kind of run away through here. Hello, Mr. IS8. I don't mind taking a shot from you, but I will have to pull back from the 62 ways crossfire soon enough. All right, so IS8 manages to escape the whole enemy team in the mid. And I still have a pretty good chunk of HP here, so I'm not too worried about what happens next. And there's the Waffenträger. The 62 way might poke up on my left side. I doubt the 405 will be able to just pull through mid, but you never know. Sometimes they can get away from some pretty bizarre things, you know? Mm -hmm. 62 ways crossing. Oh, we actually hit this dude. So we take one from the E100. He's over at A. That's always good news to know. So now we can just angle ourselves up to him there. Our 183 and 405 both think at a low HP. Uh, let's see if we can pick up a kill on this fool. Nice quick kill onto him there. That was pretty scuffed, but I will take it. And let's see. 3,200 damage dealt so far. We might be able to put a, another shot into Mr. Ice Age here. Oh, snap! The Waffenträger ricochet. Dude, that E100 is a sniping Andy. Oh my gosh. You guys are actually letting the Progetto sit back there and shoot me up the rear. I might actually go down here. Bro! How are you guys this... Oh my gosh. Wait, I don't understand. Our whole team rotates back? What? For 62A? All of you guys? And now our E4 pushes in for the kill. Bruh. I was like, my allies will keep... Like, we have a 50 TP and E4 and another tank over here. They'll keep the Progetto down from crossfiring me. That goes to show, never trust your allies. They make the most bizarre plays. I mean, we will win. I still did decent damage in the end. But I'm like, come on, guys. Seriously? Y'all wrote... Y'all yellowed back this way for an ISA and a 62A. I don't know about that one, Chief. They weren't even spotting up the 100. That's how passive they were holding back here. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that you guys would do this to the Progetto. We'll win. We'll win anyways. I'll reach out live for this game, Dan. Hey, CJ, good to see ya. <laughs> There's clearly stars to go away, Fandit. All right, guys, I'm going to go get some sleep because it's going to start tomorrow. GV, take care. Good luck. Do you think they'll put the space armor on the tier 9 Conqueror's turret like on PC? Not sure. That might be a bit busted if it's as strong as, as Conk's uh, space armor. Leopard 1, thoughts about 4K DPM and more than 4K? <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be absolutely cracked. I can't wait for the Leo. I obviously will stream all the tanks when they get their changes there. Um, just played a game with the E75 and I face hugged the Super Conk to my surprise. He couldn't pen my turret with premium. You should be able to pen the front of an E75's turret with premium at least. This rat E100, man. This was an easy 5 to 6,000 damage farm. If my Pepega allies had just kept the Progetto down, I would have been fine there. Like, I was clearing out the IS-8. I cleared out the 4005. The 62 way wasn't going to be too much of an issue because there's he couldn't have yoloed there for super long without dying. I just needed though to keep the prog down, but these dudes were all, like, pulling back. So, unfortunately, the prog got me there, but oh well. I mean, I should have read that the Pepegas were all running the opposite direction and relocated accordingly. It's not like I could just back up into the open, though, with the crossfires there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's your fault for trying to break the rule of trash teammates. Yes, yes, it was my it was my fault. I trusted in their ability to kill the Progetto there. I uh, I made a I, I done made a mistake, boys. Hey, but we should get the dub at least. There we go. Then we can get ready to jump into the next one. Finally, a win. I like how the one win I get, my team just like doesn't support me very well. But it's like a seven-two end game because yeah. 3.6. Eh, it could have been higher, to be honest. How many games did we lose there? Damn it. We, we were winning all of our games of the S Conk today. By the way, I played like 20 games of the Super Conquer today with like 30, almost 3,700 average and 80% win rate solo. So, I did have a very good solo session win rate in this tank. And then we just get struck with those three like losses in a row. And it was nothing but pain, but oh well. I think here's what we're going to do here. VK90, VK72, E100, two TDs. They have a Patton and a Bashathion. It's unlikely that the enemy team will... I only have a Yag and an IS-7 for Crossfire here. I'm going to take the gamble. I'm going to take the gamble. I know this tank is not good when it comes to um, sniping from a distance, but Bad Chat's already giving me cold feet here. There's no way he would yell up to the mid unless his whole team is going A-side. Well, maybe not the Patton, though. We do find the enemies VK and their grill. VK, grill, E100, all spotted up here. Let's aim for a track shot, maybe. Keep them in place for a little while. That way, hopefully, I'll be able to cross safely here. Enemy E100 losing all that momentum, getting farmed out. That's why you should always go for those tr track shots and things that are crossing to a corner, guys. It is vital. Absolutely vital. All right, so the E100's at a closer range, so Apisir probably will be able to pen him there. I have a Jaeger for cover fire. Bashaltheon in the middle here. I'm going to send it for the crossing now because I'm going to get crossed right out from behind otherwise. Now, the VK can push up for me here. I'm not so concerned about this VK as I am about the enemy's Gorilla 15 and VK 72. So, I'm going to just... Uh, I can't really send it for the grill. Yeah, this is not going to go well with me with my whole allies in Narnia. This dude at least doesn't have Hesh here. Okay, okay. Feel free to shoot HE if you dare there. I'm probably dead to the 100 here. Okay, we do pick up a kill on this dude at least. Maybe we can angle up our hall a little bit here. Please don't HE it. Well, I killed the grill. I spotted the crossing. The E100 got stuck there. We still have all of our Andes over here who finally, finally, five on one killed the enemy's 268 version four. I figured in that, so in that position, right, going quarter was a bit of a mistake. I really didn't expect them to YOLO a VK-72 and VK-90 and E-100 and like all these super slow tanks to corner and send no one to spot the middle. That is ridiculous. I don't know why they're sending so many super heavies to A-side because they're not going to have anyone to spot and hold mid now. I think my team actually might win this. Very bizarre play by the enemy team. Uh, Elias Fernandez over here in the E-100 wasn't able to cross the corner. The bad chat's in a bit pretty bad crossfire. We should win this. You know what? Oh, let's just jump into another. I did my best there. The VK90, I thought he would get shot by our Yag if he YOLO'd into the open to shoot me there, but our Yag was not very saucy. Let's take a cheap in for a spin. Just for a game. I don't want to watch this pip, I guess, play. Bruh. I guess that goes, I mean, that just goes to show. You can read a lineup as much as you want and predict how they theoretically should play as much as you want. And you're always going to have those teams that just make the most ridiculous plays ever. Like sending three German super heavies to a corner on canal who does that like <laughs> who actually like, like who, do, who actually does that it doesn't even make sense um if they had sent any 100 or vk 72 or vk 90 into the middle position they would have one spotted me in the yag up way earlier two they would have had a crossfire and three they would not have i would not have survived as long there probably because i wouldn't have been able to cross to the corner and unfortunately, because I was able to cross to the corner there, the enemy's Yak grill did go down. I decided if I'm going to die, I'm at least going to take one out with me. And so me and that Yak at least managed to clear the grill. I still did like 2,000 damage there too, I think. It, it could have been a whole lot worse, all things considered. I'm just like, bruh, they're just YOLOing corner with three Pepega Andes. It's just, that's just uncommon, you know? Oh my gosh, that's why I hate autoing. Okay. I'm just going to keep an eye on my rear here. Bash Altheon should struggle to pen me a little bit. Let's put a head shell towards the side. Chieftain has deceptively good gun handling. By deceptively good gun handling, I mean sometimes it can be a little bit troll. There we go. Good shot to this dude. Pete Chieftain now has PER. It's a pretty pretty hot looking tank, if, if I say so myself here. Uh, we know where the 183 is. We know where the TI-5 is. We know where both Bash Altheons are. 
basically my allies have to just YOLO this ender, so we're gonna lose. So let's just YOLO out. Good old Chieftain Mark 6 doing Chieftain Mark 6 things. Um, enemy Vash off the on, might try and clip me here. Dog, you good? You good there, buddy? You chilling? You, you doing okay over there? All right, we're gonna use this thing as hopeful cover from the TI-5. Quick cash shot to this dude. Very nice indeed. Let's get to a face hug position so he won't have easier shots on me. Queen kill on him. We are still safe from the Team 95, I believe. There's the 183. Okay. And there's the Team 5 He might hatch snipe me here or I might hatch snipe him. I will have to admit, man oh man is the Chief to Mark 6's mobility and gun handling kind of a nice change. It, it, is a, it is a whole lot better in terms of gun handling than the S Conk, which is kind of chill. Uh, the S Conk is more about survivability when you can hold a position. Chieftain's more about... I have DPM. How do I utilize the DPM? All right, quick shot to this dude. That shot's crossing from my right hand corner, so we will pay attention to that. Not too worried about this game. I think we're gonna win this personally. All right, bash off the on, taking a shot to the face. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Chieftain Mark 6 Giga Chad vehicle. I will admit, I do enjoy this tank. It, it is good at what it does, that's for sure. Oh, no. Someone just got 183. Ain't that unfortunate, boys. They hit his engine deck. Not quite. That's 3,880 damage, dude. It's so easy. <laughs> it's so easy in a Chieftain. Oh, we'll have good gun handling. Maybe I should do a Chieftain stream as well, because this thing got PBR. R. Let's see. The buddy. You know, that's super uncool. Of you. Get hatch penned again. <laughs> Look where he penned. My viewport, dude. Or my vet lit. Oh, that's a rip. Yaro, how's it going? Hey there. <laughs> I can't predict what the NA team will do if they themselves don't know what they are doing. It's hard, dude. Like, I, I didn't... We're going to win that one, right? Yeah, we easily won that one. I predicted that win because they had no map control. Oh, let's send our VK-72. <laughs> VK did one shot. RE-100 did three shots. And a VK-90. And a grill. All into the corner of the map. The, the funny part is, I still did better than our I-7 and a 1-2 on that game. And I barely, I only did like one shot less than basically top three for that battle. Uh, Super Conqueror still doing its job. Obviously, I had to salvage that game the best I could once I realized the enemy team was full sending five tanks into A corner. Uh, which basically meant they're all going to be stuck in a corner and they wouldn't have map control. Yeah, and they got crossed right out and lost, so that's nice. How long has been going? Uh, one hour of streaming already. Man, time sure flies. What's your dream car? I mean, I'm not too fussed about cars. I'm more of a motorcycle person, but I don't know. Something that's reliable and nice, like, like just kind of quiet luxury, you could say, in terms of uh, cars. I don't, I'm not into like super sporty cars or super luxurious cars. That's something that's chill. You know how it is. All right, back to the pain that is the S-Conks gun, but hopefully on Himmelsdorf, we will have a pretty good game here. Although there's a chance that enemy team will send the heavies here. I think with an E100, he is likely to head to the center of the map. See, so he sure does. Let's set up an AP shell shell for the front of his turret there. And uh, yes, we missed by 10 million miles. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. So there's the 113 GFT. Z100 can definitely shoot me if I'm not careful here. fe 25 b as well. So we're going to do a little bit of the Omega Brain counter angling here. Basically where we uh, use this hill to ever so slightly elevate our turret to give ourselves a little bit more armor along the hatch here. Enemy 215B also doing the same thing here, which is not a bad idea on his part. Um, there we go. We are also ricocheting there, so we can just chill here. We can quite literally just chill here. I think we're, we're fine for now. Um, WZ also shooting HE at me. Basically, these Pepegas can't do a whole lot to stay alive here. This 215B once again can keep stride scraping, but the side of his turret is easy to pen there, so just aim for his weak spots. And looks like the one shot I did take was actually through the hatch there, so good pen on their side. E6 running away. Quick shot in there. Nice. 1300 damage dealt. This is more of your ideal scenario for this tank here. All right, all right, all right. Boy, oi, boys. Um, that E6 could be problematic. Yo, I'm gonna need you to go to the other side here. Yo, I don't need you to back up right into me here, though. I don't know what our Type 71 is doing here. All right, let's give this dude only the front of my turret here. APCR, nice. He's trying to hatch snipe me, as you can see, so I'm gonna angle up a little bit there. Perfect. Now we should be able to easily pen his track drive wheel. There we go. And this is a pretty chill brawl. Our Type is kind of creating a massive diversion there. You got that, 
but we've already won this game. Wow, what a fast battle in terms of heavy heavy tank engagements. Although my team did have a bit of a superior heavy tank lineup. I mean, a 2 and 5B and a E6 can't do a lot if they're not supported properly. Great tanks when it comes to DPM mobility and stuff like that. Nice shot, 1E3. Not so great when it comes to... Oh, dang it. I thought I swapped the AP there. You can tell because I accidentally flipped my ammo bar open. Unintentionally. Mm -hmm. Take a hedge to the face. Do, do, do. And the enemy 183 is the last take alive. Hey, we should get the dub. Let's go. We're back on our winning circuit with the S Conk. Doing S Conk things. All right, this dude's definitely getting clutched by the Yo. And he's probably going to die before I get to him. Sag. Maybe I can get one more shot to him, actually. Oh, one more shot. <laughs> That's the way we just go 3K. I'll take it. <laughs> Over to our years on Hunter Tone Likes. Come on, guys. Don't like it. <laughs> Aww. Thank you, CJ. Do appreciate that, of course. Uh, 2.9 could be worse. Our Yo did a pretty good job there. Our Type 71 made some questionable plays, but, you know, Type 71 armor goes burr, so he did fine. DPM is not heavy too much. DPM is fine to me. I think autoloaders have too much DPM. I agree there. Yeah. Autoloader mania needs to end right now. I'm hoping with Wargaming's rebalances that the TVP will get absolutely wrecked. I don't think the Kron needs to get touched too much because honestly, the Kron's pretty balanced in its current state. So let's see what Wargaming does to that. Also, the Minotauro isn't really busted in my opinion. It's pretty easy to outplay because it's so slow. It's just like those mobile armored autoloaders that have like really nasty guns that are annoying. <laughs> Shalom. Finally, I'm not late. Sit down. Let me carry you. Hey, 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 how's it going? Can you play the tech tree bunker at some point? Uh, maybe at the end of the stream. It is a very saucy tank with its 180 millimeters in hash pack. But uh, so far, the Super Conquerors looked pretty well. We did have those three losses in kind of the middle of the stream, which, mind you, were the only losses I think we've had in this tank uh, so far in the stream. Uh, all those losses, I did do well over 4,000 damage. It just came down to my allies falling apart so quickly that I couldn't really stay alive and hold them off long enough there. I think I see a bit of an issue for this battle. Hmm. E50M, E6, s -Conk. A lot of holding heavies, a lot of very mobile vehicles. I'm going to try and hold haul down on the enemy side. Oh, really? So the enemy's E50M actually not going to the proper side of the map. Interesting. There's a Hori. Quick shot into him. Let's pull back. Okay. Enemy's E6 is a Narnia Explorer. I love me some Narnia Explorers, don't you guys? Where's he going? I thought he was going to go town side. Apparently, he doesn't want to go town side. Reverse side's great. Yoink. Quick shot to this dude. Hori is down messed up. So, we should be good here. I don't think my team is not going to win this side of the map here. We hit those. Wow, we actually do hit those. Nice. All right. So, uh, enemy team making some very questionable plays in terms of positioning. That's for sure. We already cleared out this side of the map. I think pushing to the spawn might invoke getting gill load. And very clearly, this Hori and Grill are going to be the ones getting counter pushed here. So... Make the crossing high risk, potentially high reward. Nice. So what I'm going to do instead is go hold on and our spawn here. Uh, the VK, all those dudes are staring at our E100. Right now, I want to kind of protect our grill and Hori, and this s -conk is the perfect thing to do that. So I'm going to get ready for this. Enemy Super Conqueror is being quite aggressive here. We can aim a shell towards his drive wheel. Aiming low enough to hit his lower plate there at that angle would guarantee me the pen. Um, this dude does pop his adrenaline so he can angle back in our hall. Let's put another shell towards his hall there. We're just kind of outplaying their super conqueror at this point in time. So let's just keep doing our thing. Keep doing our thing. This dude can angle up his tracks all he wants here. Pen through the mantlet maybe. I think that one went a little higher than I was hoping for. I do have enough HP where I could just YOLO this dude if I want. But I kind of don't want to YOLO yet. So that's where the super conqueror reload buff is going to be handy. I would have pinned that second shell on him there with that reload buff. You know what I'm talking about. So, enemy Super Conqueror, we're on. 492 with the HE there, a bit of a low roll. I don't know what our grill is doing, but he is committing cease exist, that's for sure. All right, E6, quick shot to him. Nice, VK and grill are covering the opposite direction. Here, we should reload, I think, just in time to play another shot to this E6. There we go. And my team are gonna make a nice little counter push here. I might just hop in with the counter push movement. Let's go, boys. We're making the counter movement. All right, let's begin by killing the grill. He's a high DPM tank. And, wow, no one wants to push the DK. Oh, my God, all my shots are getting blocked by these Pepegas. But, buddy, but what are you looking at? <laughs> what are you looking at there? A 2 and 5 is just like, I'll just stick my gun into yours, even though he's not shooting at the E6 at all. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, wait, that wasn't going to pen. I'm used to 2 and 5B hash. If that was a 2 and 5B, that definitely would have penned. You know, this tank doesn't have the worst reverse speed. It's like 16, I think. That's bearable, for sure. 
Oh wow, so that one does pen though. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> Feast on the reverse side screen. Oh, um, sir. That would have penned. That hit him right there. Wow. Amazing. 4k damage. Do you see how good I am in this tank? Basically what I did there is I just rotated back to take control of our spawn because I knew if I wasn't there our TDs would probably die and maybe my team would get crossed right out mid. Bad news for them. So I just kind of pushed back in to retake our spawn, take back that control, kind of elbows it on their S conk and farmed 4k like it was nothing. Yeah. Easy, easy stuff. Easy stuff. I cannot wait till this tank has 2950 DPM, man. For most of these games, I really haven't used the hash all that much either. Like, yeah, I definitely take advantage of it when I can. Um, not as often as you would think, you know? All right. Hey, you got to find this silver chair. <laughs> Do you guys hear an eye tripping? Ah, yes, I did. I did. I, I, I took the clippers to it. <laughs> I, uh, I'm tired of trying to style my hair right now because it is growing all over the place, unfortunately, because I wore it up for like six years and it caused my hair's growth pattern to go quite wonky. So even if I have like medium long length hair, it's all over the place. So we're starting fresh. We'll grow it out from zero. <laughs> I look like a child again. Last time my hair was this short, I think I was about 14. What kind of motorcycle do you have? Oh, I actually don't have one. I, I wish I did, um, but I don't. <laughs> I like vintage bikes personally. Really, the E6 hit that? Bruh. The s Conk didn't have such a fat haul. Okay, so I know the TI5 E6 is there. Watch this, homie. Really? I'm not really sure what my team is doing here, man. I'm not really sure what they are doing over here. All that I know is I kind of want to take topside. The only problem that I foresee as of right now is crossfires with our companion in the E100 here. But maybe if I'm aggressive enough, I can do it. In terms of hold on gameplay, I should game on a T95 V6 without any problem here. So, sit here for now. See if this E6 gets ready to pull up. I don't think I'm spotted currently. Well, I'm definitely spotted now if I wasn't earlier. Now, the E6 has better DPM than me, that's for sure. I act like I'm looking back. Oh, nice. E6 is getting shot up behind. Good stuff. The only problem is I can't really counter push this dude because I'm worried about that middle crossfire there. However, with our motion pushing in from behind, I think I got to get ready to start making a play here. So, I'm going to get ready to start aggressing onto this E6 a little bit. Quick shot on him there. I'm a three shot. He is not a three shot, so... With his tentacles of gun depression, he might be able to... Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Of course, the Minotaro is just going to pull up there for free. This dude probably will high roll this and kill me here. Oh, nice. He low rolls it. All right, all right, all right. Let's just not low roll our Hesh here. We unfortunately do low roll it. Oh, you just take it out. Okay. That kind of worked out. Thanks to whoever the heck is crossfiring those dudes out. Okay, our Moishin picking up that kill there. I think the Minotaro... And the TI2 were just going to sit there shooting at me when quite literally they have three dudes yoloing them. But nah, they're just going to tunnel me instead because yeah, that's just how life works, I guess. Is that a... Bro, I thought that was an AMX 1357. It's a Charfer tour. I was like, what is, what, what is that tank's profile there? All right. Well, not the best game in the world. E6 DPM goes burr and it only gets better. Imagine that. We did do 2k damage at least, so we didn't completely fluff the game. Could have been a little better, though. Could have been a little better, that's for sure. This dude's dead. Nice, E100 should die soon as well. Wow, what a fast battle. <laughs> Maybe if the Minotauro and TI2 had concentrated on defending their front line instead of sitting there farming a tank that is very isolated from them, they may not have been steamrolled so hard in their own spawn. Hmm. Uh, tunnel vision can take you quite a ways. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Okay, I'll need 2k damage. It's fine. It's fine. Got saved by the RNG a little bit there. E75, best tier 9 TD. Hey, oh, excuse me, who's, who's sniping in the E75? You need to go back to the basics. If a question, fatness, question about your stream, do you use an add-on to send your notifications out? Um, uh, I use a widget that's basically just stream elements widget that will basically overlay like notifications and stuff like that over there, if that's what you're talking about. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> you like crotch rockets or easy riders? Hmm. I've been on both. I would say <laughs> I prefer chill, chill bikes, <laughs> more, more, uh, more uh, relaxing bikes. I, I, I think, yeah, probably. Yeah, Super sports and stuff like that could be kind of cool, but honestly, these are not practical for anything but track, and uh, tracks are expensive. So yeah, unless you like just being uncomfortable twenty four seven. All right, let's see if anyone's around here. 
Mm -hmm. Can't quite spot up the TDs and all the V-Range. We're so far. Oh, enemy team being very aggressive on this left-hand side. I wonder if I can start making a bit more of a push here. The good news is I can side scrape off of the town if the enemy team get any more aggressive on this end of the map. And so we already have some kind of early information here. The enemy's VK90 is being quite aggro as well. We might be able to just barely hit his side or the object side. So start putting some shots into these dudes. If this 57 gets more aggressive for me, I can just keep side scraping here. Unfortunately, I think our STRVK here is going to become quick toast. So our spawn is kind of, we're kind of counter pushing their spawn a little bit here. I want to see if I can take advantage of that. I have a minute trial to hold this side. I'll have to watch out for what this 268 is looking at. So let's kind of peek around the corner here. Not looking at me yet, so let's put a quick shell to his drive wheel and pull back. And I'm going to side scrape this out so I can start farming this Gorilla 15 in theory here. Or at least the, the Gorilla 15 can sit there all game, that's for sure. So let's see, if the Gorilla 15 continues to sit there, we should be able to put a shell to him in a moment. I doubt he will. Right, the Gorilla is actually just going to keep sitting there. I'm impressed. Alright, quick kill shot into him there. 268 is pushing out to put a shell to me. We'll just keep side scraping this corner here. Nice, so 260 and 268 are both kind of pushing up here for me. 260 wants to take a shot to the rear, so I will happily deliver that shell into him. Hmm. I can't tell if he's lagged out or if he's just tripping. Uh, next question. Alright. So enemy 268's backing up. 260's going for a 121 B, I believe. The Jaeger has moved up quite a ways. Okay, wow, that 260 made it. Uh, that 260 was playing so weird, I couldn't tell if he was lagging or you're just YOLOing with his turret in reverse for the memes. I still have no clue. It is one of the seven mysteries of the world. All right, <laughs> let's just continue pushing in behind these fools. Basically, once I secured our flank, it's kind of a GG to the enemy team. I'll just keep focusing their tanks that are more dangerous. Actually, that'd be the 57, not the VK. Well, the VK90 is really annoying to deal with for my team. So in that regard, yes, let's track this dude. There we go. Oh, he's good to go for them little track shots. You know, just just, just to keep them at bay. Uh, 268 is like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, 26, 268, buddy. You may have a little bit of gun depression, but you're just going to hit my drive wheel and die. Probably not the best trade for you there, buddy. VK90. Ah, this is easy farm. This is such easy farm, guys. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, saucy. Between the tracks? Nope. Wow, that, that yeah, rolled 980 on me. That's impressive. That wasn't even hash, dude. Or HE. That was just a straight up mad high roll on the AP. You can see the hit mark on the back. It was an AP shell. Bruh. All right, all right, all right. Ooh. Oh, 620. Let's go. Mine? Oh, he's dead. Well, that was the easiest farm of the century. <laughs> YouTube armor, no way. Here I thought I was going to have a tough day with Fate Go. Oh my gosh, Gary is not getting scammed today. Imagine that. Ooh, no worry. I'm going to really want to stuff for 4K. Yeah, pretty, pretty easy clap. How am I doing in this tank today? I think average wise, we're probably pulling 35 and 75% win rate. Let, let's check. Let's check our blade stars. See how we're doing it is so far today. Um, I don't think my average went up because I've had a lot of just 2k, 2.8k damage games. 80% win rate and 35, 45 damage. So the thing that I was saying earlier about the Super Conk just being pretty reliable for dubs. Even with those three losses I had towards the middle of the stream, we've still maintained 80% in this tank today with like 35 games in it. And... A solid 3,500 average. Like, those are not bad stats. Those are actually quite good. In my opinion, soloing nowadays in tier 10, that's not even half bad. Um, for a tank, that's pretty balanced, I'd say. And that's just my whole point about the Super Conqueror being very versatile, allowing it to take up a lot of rules, allowing it to survive a long time, and it just gives you a lot more victories than certain other British heavy tanks in the game right now. At least that's my opinion. I think I remember even a couple years ago, or a year or two ago, when I was doing the Chieftain Mark 6 vs. Super Conqueror stream, my Chieftain was suffering in terms of win rate for that stream, but my Super Conqueror was absolutely chatting its win rate. So, same kind of position, eh? That one didn't go through. Didn't go through. Hmm. How peculiar is that? Hey, Mr. B5, you don't made a little bit of a boo-boo there, haven't you? I don't know, should I push in, guys, or should I just keep chilling back here? He's definitely gonna pull forward there. That dude made a boo-boo. Oh my goodness. TVP 57 and E4 on the outside lane there. TVP doing what TVPs do best, which is to die. Good. Death to all TVPs. Okay. Um, 
Master Yak, we know the 57 is at E corner. We know the E4 is in the mid. 60 TP is going to be toast before long. Buddy. I don't know where you're headed, but this ain't it, Chief. All right. Enemy 57 might pull out through here. Our Jaeger should be able to spot that up, I think, if he does. And we can just kind of kind of push through the middle as well on our side. All right, STB hitting a track shot. And wow, even though I have higher standard pen than him, that one's somehow didn't pen. It must have hit a little bit too high or low into his drive wheel there. Although since I was shooting up into his fall, I thought that would definitely be the pen. It's a first bad pen a little bit. All right, Mr. Jaeger, lower plate shot. Get a nice heat ricochet. That is a good, what? Almost 400 millimeters of heat ricochet there probably. Drive wheel, nice. 57 also bouncing his heat shells. And this is something I would definitely not be doing in a 2 and 5B or a standard Chieftain Mark 6, but I can definitely just chill here in this tank. It is worth to say so many shells. All right. Mr. E4 having himself a terrible day. But Mr. 57 about to have an even worse day, I'll tell you that for sure. All right, buddy. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time to, time to die to my gag. Yes. I don't know why he backed up. He could have hugged the rock there. Stay alive a little longer. Chief Mark 6 more than in comparison, right? Yep, very, very different types of play styles. Ah, uh, 2200 damage. I did not farm, mostly because I did not think their YAG, I mean, not their YAG, their E5 and their Object 268, all these tanks would just be yellowing down C lane. I mean, we had a very heavily armored lineup, so our team was very likely going to go and win C. I did not expect him to be so aggressive there. So kind of missed out on all of that C alley farm, unfortunately. So I only ended up on 2k. It goes to show how much that little bit of early game damage can make a difference in the end. Main character mode activated. <laughs> Venice, do you have most tanks reload average damage and pen memorized? Absolutely not. I just approximate the reload in my head and figure out roughly if I should poke them or not. Usually I don't make too many mistakes in that regard, but dirt bikes are the most fun bikes. Oh my goodness. It's been a long time. Russian disaster. Great to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream and thank you very much for the $50 donation. I would agree with you. Dirt bikes are a lot of fun. I have don't own one, but I have the ridden bikes. them. And they are a whole lot of fun to just like ride around on a, like a track or in some like hilly terrain and stuff like that. For sure, for sure. Dirt bikes can be really enjoyable. So hope hopefully your dirt bike riding is going well there. This IS-7 doesn't have gun depression apparently. Yo, that insta! How did this dude sneak up so fast? How did he sneak up so fast, buddy? But IS-7, are you really this, really this, uh, really this, uh, Hmm. IS-7 is not thinking very clearly, I think. Nor is this VK. This VK ain't thinking very clearly either. Look at this side scrape go, boys. Look at this side scrape go. It's absolutely built different. Get gamed on. The Brits are gaming on you with our side scraping s -conk here. The gun handling is gaming on me even harder. Wow. Okay. Oh my goodness. The 50B has returned as well. I... I... I don't even know what's happening anymore. All that I know is this has a lot of farm potential. So let's put a headshot onto this dude. Enemy armor is hit. Mm. This is why I always say, don't push past some counter cap, you guys. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Look at these Enemy dudes. They're just dying left, right, and center. Look, you can hold and counter cap like what I'm doing here. Just don't be the Pepega Andy that yolos out sideways in front of the, all the TDs and gets full health practically. Um, well, that's 3,500 damage for me right there. Like, absolutely no big deal. All right, VK, time for you to back up, boy. Do it, boy. Yeah. <laughs> it is so easy. It is so easy. Okay. Um, what do we do? I'm more concerned about their TD's positioning. Okay, a little more drive wheel. Should not have taken that. Thought he was going to pull out for a moment and seeing if I could predict his movement there a little bit. But he did not. Alas. My life is a lie. Uh, do they have a TD back here is my question. Well, he's not in that bush yet, but he's definitely back there because I got spooted. So, uh, this dude's dead now. Wow. What, uh, what an intense game. Guys, once again, do not YOLO past. Pretend there's a line from here to that church. That is the no-go zone. You go past there, you're probably dead, okay? Unless you know for a fact you can overrun that side and not get annihilated by tank destroyers, which, well, 
And that didn't quite work out for the enemy team now, did it? All right, 60 TP lower plate goes burr. I'll retrack him for you, MV. Good stuff. Um, <laughs> watch this. Boop. <laughs> Are you having fun over here, 60 TP? Are you having fun? Oh, I'm out of hash shells. It feels bad, man. Moment. Okay, give me that pineapple corner. Yoink. Quick shot in there. Boop. We can pull back safely. I feel bad. I'm making the 4005 take all this shit. <laughs> I was gonna say hits, bruh. That sounded so wrong. <laughs> tried to say hits there, and for some reason, I started that with an S, and obviously that came out the complete wrong way. That was not intentional, guys. Ay, ay, ay. I'm slurring my words now. Talented. All right, this dude gets taken care of. Lovely stuff. And what do we got here? 4.8k damage. 405 is still healthy, as far as I'm aware. Same with the 183 on the enemy team. This game could actually be really close. Come on, which way are you pushing? I'm actually a little bit worried here. We have a lot of one shots, a lot of low HP targets. <laughs> oh my gosh, I know, right? <laughs> you know what I did there? You know what I did there? I mixed up shots and hits. I combined them into two words in my head. And it came out as the ever infamous word. <laughs> shots and hits. I don't know how I managed to mix both of those words up in my head there. That is a big time bruh momento, man, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> that is not your family friendly. Hey, yo. You know I am. <laughs> that wouldn't even make logical sense as a word to use in that frame. So you know it was like a genuine just like a, a mix up of my wording there. Anyways, this game has a lot of damage potential in it. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure I don't overextend to a 183 there. Okay. I gotta do my best to try and win this game for my team, if at all possible. Okay. All that damage potential. Oh, stop! Okay, only took 400 splash damage there. T30, in all likelihood, will not be able to one-shot me here. Can pen the front of his turret. Oh my gosh, I'm getting scammed against this dude. Oh, I do out-reload a T30 by a long shot here. Quick shot onto his side there. Oh no, the 183's coming for me now. Oh no, mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Okay, we're gonna have to get up close and personal to this 183 if he tries and yellow into me. Okay. Oh! And yeah, he could just pen me through my upper plate from there. This game has so much potential, I'm not really sure. Hmm, we don't have very many healthy tanks. Man, just not throwing a shot. <laughs> on live stream. I know, right? Dude, our TL just let himself get ram killed there. Uh, guys, that was not very well played on your part. Although, mind you, I didn't mean to bleed. I got like way too distracted talking about uh, my co combination of two words there. Fantasy, you had it in your mind, just found a moment to release it. Ain't no way, buddy. That word would never make any sense in that sentence there. Oh my gosh, 268, why prolong the game? Just go for the dub. You could have gone into the opposing TD bush, outspot the 183, shot him, pulled back, got the W there. I should have focused on that game. Low key, that could have been a 7,000 or more damaged game if I was just concentrated. But I completely lost focus for obvious reasons. And that's why I could never be a streamer, lol. Yeah, at least well, this time my brain was just like... My brain could not decide on whether it wanted to say shots or hits that game. Because both words would work perfectly logical there. Making the 45 take all the shots, making the 45 take all the hits. My brain just put both together. <laughs> you pushed too quickly? No, I pushed way too slow, you mean. I pushed way, way too slow. I should have pushed when they were still distracted, more or less, on my teammates there. Because that 183 was just kind of picking them up. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a draw because this 268 doesn't know how to aggro there. Never go for draws, guys. Only go for Ws. That 183 put in a lot of work. If he kills you and gets the win, good for him. He had a good game. If you get the win, good for you as well. Easiest call a ban off, but our 268 decided not to. Also, our TL 120 basically got himself ram killed by a 183. How do you let that happen, buddy? Ay, ay, ay. And I did almost 6,000 damage that game. No 183. I actually out damaged their 183. Get out damaged, buddy. You all sat and spawned there. Um, 60 TP did 600 damage. Oh my gosh. Once again, I always call out those issues that those Pegas make. I, I literally told, I was talking about it on stream. Don't push past encounter cap. Like, don't do it. Our ISA and our TL 170 just like lost all their HP, yoloing out from there. Probably got fined by the T30 and 183. Uh, please advise if console 1B comes 
in is it worth it honestly concept would be fine but i don't think it's easier it sure went for russian disaster on stream for a second uh bleen <laughs> yenny's nile <laughs> <laughs> if as uh what widget do you use just the stream elements widget stream elements is just a uh, uh add-on to obs studio basically you add it on and you can go full on um use it to kind of manage a lot of your stream setups basically your donation widgets and all that type of fun stuff all right i'm gonna spot mid this game because they have three tds a 50b cron evk32 there's a good chance they actually send their team to town and go figure they have already started sending vehicles into town here Quick shot into the AMX-30B, showing them who's the boss. We will have to watch out for those TD crossfires. But for now, for now, my primary goal here is spot town. There we go. Quick shot into this dude. We know where the E4s are. We know where the VK is. We know where the Kron is. Enemy team is very much split up here. That is for sure. But we do have some nice early farm. 380 bouncing on my right side. That would be an AMX-50B, I believe. So we know where the 50B is as well. 50B, Kron, and VK72 on the enemy team are all on this end of the map here. Quick shot to the 50B, 30B. So technically speaking, I probably should get ready to back down. He's going to get a cross right out from there and there. Don't really want that. So let's just back down before this E4 gets any massive brain ideas here. Put a quick shot into him. Get back into safety. We can continue holding this ditch. And I'm still spotting up the enemy team's heavy tank town push, which is very vital. You see how I have already 2,000 spotting? That's why I swear by this position. It is a gamble. You can get wrecked here if the enemy team push onto you together through a town B push. But also you can be so helpful to your team. Let's trap that VK there. By just spotting this crossing here. I haven't lost any hit points. I've done 2300 damage and I've already spotted up over 2k at this point. So, we've done a lot of work for our team very early on in this battle here. Looks like the enemy's T-124 is still eager to push some shots into me here. Which is, I don't know if I'd recommend that Mr. E4. All things considered... You don't have a whole lot of support here, but oh, I ran out of gun question there. Pretend you didn't see that, guys. P pretend you didn't see that. Let's just angle up return, pull back into safety. My rear should be safe as long as I do not overextend it. We'll just load up an APCR shell for this dude's hatch. He shoots HG at me. Not the biggest brain play he could have made there. He has an 11 second reload. Just enough time for me to reload and shoot this VK in the side and pull back. Lovely. So I'm just kind of crossing my attention back between these two flanks here. Um, I'm a little bit more concerned about what that E4 is doing. Because he could pull out and shoot at me here. But I'm just going to keep kind of spotting this crossing here. Quick shot to the Kron. Nice. 3,400 damage dealt. So far, we're doing okay. We know where the VK is. We know where the Kron is. Secondary E4 is up in the caves getting gamed on. We should win this game very comfortably here. I am probably just going to move up and clear out this dude. I mean, we already know we're winning caves at this point. So let's just get ourselves a W. We kill this dude here. AMX-30B is um, still shooting for me. Interesting. Interesting. Don't quite have the reload to hit him there, but we might just barely have the reload to hit him here. No. Alright, 30B is just gonna yellow through the middle here. Probably die to our T100 LT. Oh, one more shot, please, buddy. Nice. Actually dies to me there. And now the Kron's last nick left. So, 4k damage, over 2,000 spotting. Oh, probably gonna be a first class, honestly, just because of the amount of assist damage you got here in the town. That's why it's always nice to kind of get that information on the town, nice and early. Now, I don't think I'm gonna get enough damage from an ace, but I would say definitely a first class, that's for sure. Unless I can yoink this kill, that is. Oh, the Yag yoinked it. Why did he sit in front of a Yag there, buddy? <laughs> you could have killed the Yag, too. I came back like two, three months ago for two, three days. Oh, uh -huh. got nice stats, surprisingly, and quit again. That is the play Russian disaster. Did not become addicted to the game. Haha. <laughs> oh, it was a first class. So, yeah, 2k assist. 4k damage dealt. Chilling. Doing stuff in the mid. Nice. Little W there. In the super cog. That's after 1.5 year break. Oh, man. I kind of understand it, though. The teams have been pretty, pretty rat to deal with in recent times. And so, yeah. I mean, tier 8's chill, though. If you like playing tier 8, dude, I assume just pops. Pops up. <laughs> All good, brother. Living the life. Hey, glad to hear that Russian disaster. All right. He, uh, comp players in the chat. Do y'all think the s -Conk will have comp potential after the balance changes? Probably not. E5 will reign supreme. 100%. There's no way that E5 is not gonna return to comp in its in its new new heightened state with its old dpm back however some alternatives to keep in mind type 71s now will have premium ap is4 is no longer going to be as meta i don't know what the european changes are so i can't say but a lot of the european heavies are comp things right now we'll just have to see what vehicles do really become comp worthy but i think without a doubt e5 and t9 5e6 will be kind of major comp tanks um in the future 
All right, I'm not gonna push into the ditch here. I know from personal experience, yellowing into the ditch rarely goes as planned. So, we are probably spotted from a tank over here behind this building. Let's take an APCR shell there. Our AMX-30B is making some very questionable plays right now, but he actually made it into the ditch. So, you know what? Full speed ahead, brother. Allow me to support you. My only primary concern here is my team's utter lack of A crossfires. That's actually a huge concern. Now, I don't know what tanks they may have at A. That could be very bad for me and my allies if we keep getting crossfired right out from the right side. So I'm going to keep playing it a little bit more casual here. We do have a TI-5 pushing up kind of below me. I should be hauled down enough to maybe APCR's lower plate. Not quite. We're bouncing a lot of shots. 350 and a Yag to... Oh my gosh, the 50B. Okay, guys, you cannot let the 50B just sit here. Team, where are you guys at? Guys, you seriously cannot just let this 50B sit in the open this whole time here like that. All right, I'm going to track this dude maybe. Bro, talk about tunneling 50B here. And a Yag Tiger. Oh my... My team cannot all be this dumb, dude. They cannot all be this dumb. What are you guys doing? Bro, the 50B is sitting sideways in the open, and you're telling me you can't deal with them there. Now the TM5 is yellowing for me here. Enemy armor is damaged. Bruh, this is why I hate yellowing dips. You have to rely on your Pepega teammates to do their job properly here. He's gonna go through my upper plate. Oh, nice. Bounce the APCR there. Another clear for me. My other Andy is yellowing in. Enemy S Conk might yellow for me here. I'm just gonna have to be bait at this point. Bro, that 50B is just sitting all the way in the open. No one shooting at him. I don't get what these TDs and heavies are looking at. Did they all YOLO an STRVK? Oh my gosh, but they gave up all cover fire we had on this side of the map. But Pegas! The Pega teammates, man. And this is why our Amex 30B didn't go med side it was a huge mistake on his part. In case that 50B pushes from my right, I'm gonna have to side scrape off this TI-5's core too, basically. It's my only chance I have left, okay. We are playing the defensive game here, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing the defensive game. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay, that's the super conco on enemy team. Is he preeming for me? I preeming for me. My gosh. That's actually perfect, nice. There's the Vickers, there's the Amex 50B. Some of the 4's up here still. The Ag's probably still sniping from across. So not a whole lot I can do right now because of the crossfires. I think we might win this, assuming these... Oh, wait. We have a 50B over there as well? Bruh. The 50B should have died for that, man. The fact that he got away for it with minimal damage is just outrageous. These outrageous levels of behavior by the enemy team. Come on, buddy. Give me that shot. Give me that shot. Come on. You want to yell at me. I know you do. Oh, of course. Of course, that dude's just sitting there. Well, it might have been a throw by me. My team should win this, in theory. They have the HP and advantage. Uh, I hate my allies. I hate relying on blitz teams, and this is why I'm better off just sitting back and doing my own thing and leaving my allies to just die. Like, bruh. I'm like, oh, sure, I can push up into the ditch. I have a two autoloaders cover firing me. I have two 150 millimeter tank destroyers covering me. No problem. They, they can't possibly sit in the open and shoot me in the ditch, even if there's a crossfire at B. <laughs> the 50B got all four shots off. Dude just sat there too for ages aiming all the shells like bruh. Fattis, have you been playing for nine years? And sh uh, sure I have. I sure have been playing for nine years. <laughs> Long time to be playing Blitz. Your first player in Blitz to be rushed by T95. <laughs> I know, right? At least I was able to game on him a little bit by gun blocking him there. Hey, 50B. 50B's going. Ay, ay, ay. I'm actually surprised the enemy team threw that because they had ditch control. But the mistake was is the STRV and the um, Amex 50B both YOLO'd into our spawn instead of just letting the enemy team push into us. Hi, Fatty. Brazil loves you. Oh, Lucas. Thank you very much. And that's her one month milestone as a member on the channel, too. All right. Uh, we do get the W. We do get the W. Mission accomplished. I will be happy. All that HP and he is hiding. <laughs> At least we won. You know what? At least we won. I won't complain too much. C goodbye damage on my part though. Gosh, I farmed nothing that game. 1800. 
And what are the odds I still did better than our 30B, our Grand Fenzer, and our Grill? Our 50... Okay, you know what? Credit to our WZ111. Dude actually did a good job there, it looks like, before getting taken out. 50B only... 50B only doing one more shot of damage than me there. And yeah, he had full HP and a four-shot autoloader. I, I, I don't know. That 50B probably could have played that a little better in terms of covering. Uh, does anybody think Chief Mark 6 will be the in at the auction? I wouldn't be surprised if it was. That's, that's all I can say. It's, it's a pretty good tank, so I like the Chief. I probably enjoy playing the Chief a little more than the Super Conqueror, but the Super Conqueror is just good at surviving. Like, that game, the only reason I actually died in the end, even with my Pepega Crossfire teammates, uh, was because... I did a dumb poke on the Yag Tiger. I was hoping the Yag Tiger would be looking the other way, but I, I realized my brain was not functioning fully there. I realized too late I was the only tank that was actually spotted there. But I thought the Yag Tiger might be premium the crossing in our spawn because those dudes were spotted fighting there. I was going to see if I could pick up a clear on him. That was a bit of a misplay on my part. <laughs> Outlaw. Lots of poor shooting hit rates. Uh, lots of unlucky RNG in the SCOG if that's what you mean. If I was playing a Leo, you'd understand why I got... Oh, yeah. When shots actually go where they're supposed to, it's easy to hit shots. But it's kind of hard to make the S-Conx gun work. You have to try and figure out when to shoot and when not to shoot. Because it's just a... It just has... It takes forever to aim in. You really just can't aim in this tank. Like, you'll be sitting there for four seconds if you try aiming in your shots. So this is not going to work. You gotta, just gotta... Gotta kind of point and shoot in it. Because if you aim in for too long, then you're exposing your weak spots. Which is basically how Wargaming balanced out this vehicle. Which wasn't a bad idea, for sure. Ooh, I did hit him perfectly in the view range there. So my meds should be fine for now. These 113s could definitely be a bit of an issue here, especially as they have 340 heat pen. Um, as of right now, though, the 113s are a bit overextended. So it's pretty quick shelter to find his turret there. And I'm going to keep an eye on this Leo here. Let's see, maybe a quick shelter towards him. Not quite. So he's not giving me the kill here. My allies are being very aggressive through the middle. Um, I have a bunch of TDs on the flank here. I'm gonna get ready to start working down these 113s again, so I'll play quick shot. Wow, I, I love it when that happens to uh, the perfectly gray armor profile of 113. This dude's still gonna go for me here, isn't he? Hit the drive wheel. He's dead. Farewell, 113. That leaves a grill. Okay, the grill's over there. Let's just go farm our mouse. This game's already over. Absolute steamroll of a battle. Enemies 113's got gamed on, to say the least. Okay, we're fine from crossfires for now. This mouse probably shouldn't have turned for us here. Uh, as he's about to get completely wrecked from behind, basically. I'm gonna keep watching my rear though. I don't want the Oh my gosh, do you want me that bad, dude? Holy smokes. Just gonna keep tracking this fool. Yeah, now you did zero damage there when you could have had more. Good tunnel, buddy. Good tunnel. Alright. So they both fired just now. Hello, Mr. VK90. Quick shot to you. Lovely stuff. HRF, how's your brother doing? Uh, he's doing good. He's doing good. Thanks for asking. Uh, professional disaster. He's a busy man. Busy man. <laughs> All right. Are we throwing? Are we looking? Okay, no, no. We can't be throwing. Just a 57 crossfire from back here. I can hold. I can hold. I don't have to overextend or push or anything. I'll let her 57 reload his whole magazine and then go cover me. 57. You can't allow yourself just to get farmed out like that. Okay, they both fired. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, quick shot to this dude. Let's angle up our hall a little bit here. That's fine. All right, 57. Now's, now's your big moment. Make, make it work. Make it work. There you go. Put one more shell onto him, buddy. I had to make the clear there because I didn't trust our 57 not to get farmed out. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the VK90 will very easily overmatch my upper plate armor here. But, oop, oh, with a little bit of a gun block, we should be fine. I should have him on reload here. Just let me keep kind of side-hugging him here a little bit, buddy. Why is this dude running? Oh, man. This dude's running engine boost and adren. <laughs> So in that position, I basically decided just to take the YOLO play on the grill. Because if we didn't clear him out, our 57 was just going to keep getting crossfired out. I had to wait. And since they both fired at our 57, it was a perfect opportunity for him to clear that grill out. It was risky, but I had enough HP to pull it off. As long as the 57 hit all three shots, which he did. That's the game I ace. 
Oh, right. 2,500 block damage. Let's see how much assistance we got. Uh, almost 1,400 assistance and 4,400, just under 4,400 dealt. Two destroyed. I was an ace, but also I was spotting a lot of the targets myself. I was tracking them. I was getting assistance. I was blocking damage. All of these factors go straight into that XP bar. So I actually got the ace there. Wow, interesting. DG, thank you, Ocean Disaster. Hey, Fanis, when you were focusing on improving your win rate, did you have a specific strategy? I use one tank, rotate through tanks, certain tears. Just play whatever you feel most comfortable playing, basically. Um, whatever tank you're like, I can just play this and not have to think too hard because it just works so well. That type of vehicle. You know what I mean? Hey, Fanis, hope your stream is going well. Thank you, it is, Dean. I appreciate it. All right, I'm definitely going heavy side here because 57, Mouse, Kran, Yag, 268E4, they only have a 907, which, to be frank, our Amex 30B can absolutely brain on if he's good in the 30B. I love the 30B, by the way. Also, 30B getting 3,600 DPM in the next patch of buffs. Tank's going to absolutely slap. So, let's see what we got here. Hmm, the Mouse probably spotted me up there. Mouse did not spot me up there. How peculiar. Okay, here is the strategy. Our mouse spots, our mouse takes all the hits, I farm off of our mouse. It's not so hard, right? It's not so hard. All right, let's just keep aiming for Le Grand Wagen, aim for a track shot here. Good stuff, that will hopefully give me enough time to shoot a bubble to... Grand Wagen? Is that? Grand Wagen. Huh. Huh. Uh... Huh. I need to move my firebot a little, keep missing it by accident. Also, I ha. Did hit it, did hit it. I had to scope out that one. Okay. Peculiar. Peculiar play by the enemy team there. Bloop. <laughs> that shot went so far to the left, I can't even find it. Uh, I can't even be angry about it. It's just memes at this point. Hello, Mr. Massapur. Would you like to outside scrape me? German power versus British power. I, well, the thing is, I can't hit you, but I can outside scrape you. Go figure. Because unlike you, at least I don't have a Pepega turret with corner cheeks that get auto penned from anything with 300 plus millimeters of E turret, APCR, or even AP. Ay, ay, ay. The mouse blocks my shot, so I had to like try backing up a little bit too much there to get it in. Oh, Massey Poo, you're not being very helpful over here. Oink. Okay. So, this this enemy mouse is just chilling. There's like, oh, there's a pro side scraping mouse. You have a shot into his turret there. Another thing I forgot to call out regarding this vehicle that it actually is a pretty significant problem is the fact that it has a very limited ammunition supply. Unlike a Chief to Mark VI and stuff, you gotta be very calculating with your shots. And considering that you're missing quite a few shots in this tank due to its uh, rather suspect gun handling, it, it does... Okay, this just gonna try shooting at me again. Pepega tunneling Andy's over here. Ma oh my gosh. That was just terrible shooting my part. Ah, the mouse kept blocking all my shots there. Okay. Well, at least he yellowed it in the end. Buddy, where you going? Where you going, buddy? Hey. How's it going over there? You having fun? Oh. You know what? I want damage. Screw it. I'll take it. <laughs> he killed my driver. Oh, no. It's okay. As long as I can get my 4K out, I feel accomplished here. Let's go. 4K achieved, guys. Easy. <laughs> It's an urban myth that you get XP for blocked damage. Here's the here's the only reason why I think blocked damage may get you uh, may get you that um, XP because I'm pretty sure I did 4,000 damage and 2,500 assistance on a previous game. That was only a first class, and I was aggro mid spotting their whole team up basically in town when getting them farmed out, tracking them, and stuff like that. And I was still brawling some of their vehicles in pretty close quarters. So I do think the type of combat matters a whole lot. Like that entire game, every single shot was like point blank basically, right? I was right on them. I don't know how that works out per, per, per se, but I do think that the block damage may have been the biggest difference there. Paid actor, Kron Kron. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Russian Disaster. Your funds were used very well. I do appreciate it. 
Uh, hey, Fanis, are you going to stream the E6 after the update? Trust me, eventually I will try to stream every tier 10 after the update. Gift... <laughs> Lucas gifted one his Royal Fatness membership. Thank you, Lucas, for gifting that membership. Very much appreciated. And it looks like it was gifted to... Um, Hess Herman? I'm not sure if I'm mispronouncing that name at all. Congratulations, you're a lucky member. Thank you very much for the donation. <laughs> all right, Super Congress Concept B. Who wins? Uh, concept more accurate. Concept better hold down turret armor profile. I think Super Conqueror in every other regard, personally, though. Super Conqueror in terms of gun depression, Super Conqueror... In, well, actually, no, Concept's more mobile. Who am I kidding? I still think I prefer the Super Conqueror of the Concept. Pew, pew, the Concept's pew pew gun, dude. Come on, poke it, Mr. 183. You know, probably exposing my whole big, chunky lower plate to the uh, 183 might not be such a good idea. So, we'll just keep this piece of building as cover. And we'll wait for the 183 to shoot. Maybe I can drop down on the VZ, but the 183 has to get taken out first before I can peek this. I'd really like, like to see what our IS-7 spots up here. I really don't want to loot, nuke my HP just yet. Okay, there he is. Lovely start. Quick lower plate shot. Nice. Exactly average roll. So we're one to one on us now. So 183 needs to be dealt with. Hey, is no one just going to push that 183? Like, holy smokes, guys. I'm quite literally just YOLO him. I hope you know that. Are you guys gonna push him now? He quite literally just shot. That's your chance. Go for it. There you go, good boys. Oh wow, the enemy team's all yelling on the other side. So we're gonna have to hold our position here instead of yelling all over the place. Um what cover fire do I have? Not enough. Not enough if they all decide to yell for me, that's for sure. I don't think they could all get away yellowing me with enough crossfire. Our Progetto really should not be running on the flank. Like, what's he going to shoot back there? There isn't even anyone for him to shoot at back there. So our Progetto might be screwing up a little bit here. Especially as I'm getting gulled by the I-7, the 1-2-1, all these tanks through the middle here. STB has a boatload of gun depression to deal with me. Luckily, I should have enough survivability here to survive a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, now the Karo shooting at me instead of killing the Progetto that's quite literally in front of him. Progetto, Progetto, Progetto. You absolutely threw that one, buddy. Absolutely throwing Andy here in the Progetto, dude. All right, he's going to try and run past me, I think. Oh, my gosh. Buddies, is it that hard just to cover fire me? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this team was hopeless, dude. It took them 10 trillion years for the four of them to kill a 183. Meanwhile, our Progetto YOLOs to his death which like why dude just sit back and cover they're all gonna push onto the super conqueror there i stayed in that position just to prevent their team from yoloing into us and since i had the e4 the is7 and what i thought a projector for crossfire we would have been fine but uh as you can see uh the allies were not very good in there i probably should just stayed in that ditch to be honest instead of pushing back for helping our projector there ay 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 this team man well that's what happens when your team spends 10 trillion years procrastinating the push on a 183. Like, I was going to keep the VZ down. <laughs> That's fine. The IS-7, the Progetto, the E4, and whatever take us over there. Bruh. That team is just terrible. Buddy. Buddy, you're not even a bad player. Why on earth did you YOLO into four tanks and expect to get away with it? Should have stayed with your team. The Leo loader will have some Red Bull along with that reload buff. Uh-huh. Leo DPM at 4K is going to be next level. <laughs> I see HRF has remained with the auto waivers. I see he's truly an ally. Uh, man, I am in such a mixed relationship with auto aim versus no auto aim. Because if I turn my sensitivity down, no auto aim low key kind of goaded. Okay. Because I do not trust in my Pepega teammates to spot the A crossing. I'm going to do it myself. Um, mostly, I don't want to commit to A because they have a Type 70. I mean, a Type. A teenage TV VZ, TVZ51, a 215B and a skunk, so they could actually take corner pretty easily if they wanted. So I'm gonna spot the corner crossing myself. Alright, so we have this dude here. Which on him nice and early. He will spook me up, I am sure. But he should hopefully get nuked on his crossing here, right, team? Right? That's that's good, team. That's good. That's exactly what you're supposed to do there. Okay. So they 
obviously are kind of just sniping in the back here, aren't they? What's the matter of seven? I'm more worried about the TDs than the enemies' heavy tanks here. Okay, I hit the dirt, so I don't have a tank directly behind that bush or anything. I think my ally here is going to make a nice counter push. So, how can I make up for this? Now, we still have two unspotted heavies that I'm more concerned about than anything else right now. Spotted one up. Guess if he pulls out for me. He does not. Oh, dang it. I was trying to back up so I could shoot the TNH if he went to back up. You can see that didn't quite go as planned because, well, oh, wait, actually, we might be able to do it. We got 390 of him there. Good stuff. We know where the Super Conqueror is. Two and five B's in the corner there. Nice. All right, we can counter push these dudes from behind, I think, honestly. Might be spotted now, but eh, not the end of the world. All right. So I'm glad I spotted the crossing. Obviously, I could have made it to corner in time. Might have been nuked though on the crossing there if I tried. Enemy 2 and 5 e got abandoned by his teammates and he is feeling pain, suffering, and misery. Oh boy. Well, that's the Yag. So, only unknown anomaly of this game would be the 704. Ooh, S Conk on enemy team. It's nice and aggressive here. Like, I could try playing no auto aim, although my sensitivity is too high for it. <laughs> like, I can play no auto aim, but there's just some shots that I miss. Obviously, my sensitivity is too high now, but if I can, I can switch it off whenever I want and kind of still perform well, because I have practice kind of on and off here a little bit. I would be ordinarily running at 90% sensitivity though, not uh, 100 plus percent. Hmm. I don't want to take a shot from the Yag at the Bute. Looks like I'm taking a shot from the Yag at the Bute here. Please don't pan my upper plate. I'm sure he does. Not going to give my HE able turret to that dude. Nice. Alright. Where are you at, buddy? My driver's dead. I don't think I'm ever getting here in time, guys. Oh, not. See, yeah. If I gotta play no auto aim, I need to have my sensitivity jacked down, dude. Or is that's what happens. <laughs> I almost missed that yag. Perfect tier 10 heavy tank? It is. It is a perfect tier 10 heavy tank. I agree. It's very chill. Fanish, which tanks in 10.3 are you excited to play? T125, Object 268, Leopard 1, Object 140, T95E6. Um, those are my most hyped tanks, to be honest. Those are my most hyped tanks. He will get it. He will get it back in the hair after. Huh? <laughs> He's trying to look clean cut for those college ladies. Oh, yeah, yeah. The hair. I look so different with short hair. It's so weird. Um,. I only trimmed it back though, because like I explained earlier, my hair has some really weird ways of growing ever since I wore it in a man bun for like six years straight. Uh, basically, my hair just grows all over weird angles. And so when I go for like a medium length haircut, which is my preferred hair length, medium to long, it just doesn't work well. So basically, I'm restarting from scratch. <laughs> I'm restarting from scratch. I'm getting the buzz cut and then we'll just let my hair grow back. My hair grows about an inch every month or so. It will not take very long for it to grow back. Um, so I look forward to that day. For now, I'll have to be self-conscious about being bald. <laughs> Not quite bald, but uh, short-haired, which is, yeah, I haven't been like this since, 20, you know, probably since 2015 or so. All right, auto-aim off. Quick shot to this dude. Oh, wait, I'm still playing auto-aim off, boys. We will continue the trend. Unless it comes to hat sniping. If it comes to hat sniping, I cannot do that without auto-aim. I absolutely suck at that without auto-aim. See, I can't, I can't, I just can't track. My muscle memory is not used to tracking at that level, you know? Alright. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. At least the s -Conk is like a pretty easy tank to play without auto-aim here. Alright. There we go. Quick shot into that dude. He's dead. He's very dead. Alright, 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 alright. We hit, we hit those hatch shots. Ooh. Look at me with the pretty hat snipes. Okay. Now, E3, it is your turn, buddy. It is your turn to take the hash through the weak spot. Not quite. How's my flank doing? Eh, it's doing okay. Could be doing better, though, to be honest. Yeah, you pen those. Hit it, Daisy. Hit it. Hit it, I believe. I believe. Aw, oh, nice try, nice try, buddy. Nice try. Not quite. Okay. We're going to have to keep holding for now. Can't really push the E3. Let's see. How's my flank doing? If I can debate this E3 one more time here. Okay, 
last night by wearing one. Uh, okay, here's what I'm gonna do actually. Since I don't trust my allies to hold the flank here. Actually, they're winning this side. In theory. Right? Maybe I maybe I need to help out on them a little bit here. Now the E3 is gonna come for me, assuming I'm gonna yellow cross without looking at them. I'm gonna hope that they can clear this side and actually go back to defending this end. They, they, they have trades. They have HP and they have trades. All right, track shot maybe? Not quite. Still got a decent crossfire for this Jaeger here. I'm gonna pull forward or just keep staying in the open for me. Nice, another shell to him. My sensitivity is so high to be running no auto aim. Fun fact, you run lower auto aim if you're not using uh, lower sensitivity if you're not using auto aim just because it stabilizes your aim a little bit more versus this jack sensitivity I use with auto aim. <laughs> Alright, another clear. Looks like my team did actually a good job. I'm glad I didn't abandon this side because I thought, you know, I thought for a moment there. Okay, this dude's dead. Well, they almost lost that flank. Actually, they are losing that flank. Barely. Barely. But they stayed alive long enough for me to just kind of push out behind these dudes. So it's a GG my books all right onward bounds my people rip the farm rip the farm <laughs> maybe the 2 and 5 will give me an extra shot i didn't really fluff too many shots this game due to auto aim just a couple Ooh, the between the rail shot maybe mm -hmm. Let's rip that shot getting farmed out by someone way before me. The rails are doubled up here, so I'm not going to get here in time. <gasps> Mine the damage. Oh, 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 pull in, pull in. Do anything, buddy. Yes. Oi. <laughs> Oi, I thought I thought I would be able to slash him for more than that. Uh, oopsie. I got Silver Conqueror. I'm surprised for 2.5k gold. Short hair is great. Save money on shampoo in this tough economic times. I, you know what, Russian Disaster, you got a point. There are some advantages. Do you know how nice it is to turn off the shower, pat down my head with a soft towel, and my hair is like dry in five minutes? I forgot what that was like. I forgot that was like. I can now take like four minute showers in and out. Don't have to spend time scrubbing my hair. I don't have to spend like three hours air drying it or blow drying it for 40 minutes to try and get all the liquid out. It's it's nice. I mean, there's, there's a lot of very nice things about uh, having shorter hair. But I personally like the style of longer hair just because I can do a lot more things with it that are interesting. But yeah, it, it definitely has its advantages. Maybe for a busy student, that's not such a bad thing. <laughs> 55 damage. I, I saw Super Conqueror better than Chieftain Mark VI. Um, yes and no. In terms of survivability, 100%. In terms of its uh, like heavy tank capabilities, 100%. Chieftain Mark VI is much more higher skill required to make it perform well if that makes sense you know it requires more skill to play but at the same time it is more rewarding for that heightened skill because of its ability with its mobility and its firepower right also i think me and this week here are gonna have to hold mid here Oop. i cannot aim with that auto aim i shock i shock big time Alright, here's the problem. It's not these tanks on my left here that are the issue. Actually, what tanks could be coming for the right? Quick shot to this dude here. I'm more concerned about that E100. And I think the Super Conqueror got spotted in the back, but I'm gonna keep an eye on our flank for now until we have more information on what their team's doing here. Maybe I'll hold this corner or something. Okay, so there's the E100. As predicted, he kind of pushed him through the middle. Luckily, he did not quite send it for me there. Quick shot his tracks, maybe. Nice. We'll just continue shooting at his rear here. Hopefully, where his field tanks are located. Warner well, should be on reload for a moment longer here. Oh, nope. I done made a mistake. Oh my gosh. The Caro and the Sheridan are all just yoloing into me here. Bro. And my ally is truly this useful. <laughs> useful. Useless. They just let all their meds yellow back to tunnel me here. I was a little tunnel vision on the 100. I was trying to keep him tracked. I thought they wanted a shot at someone, but I guess he didn't because he still had a shot there miraculously. Wink. Work that again, buddy. Yeah. Get out. Get out, Braid, buddy. 
<laughs> Look at these meds, dude. They're, they're doing such a good job over here. We hit that? Yo, no auto aim gang going crazy. I can't believe we actually hit that. What the heck? The last second adjustments are cracked, dude. Did a one shot. Nice. And the crow's gonna go down. Good stuff. Oh, that's a GG. Not a huge farm game, but I'll take it. <laughs> he found us, why are you nerfing the MX MLE? He found us, why are the nerfing the MX MLE? I don't know, man. I'm sad to see the MLE. It would be low key not so bad if the alpha damage was not the only thing that made the M4 like special like we have a lot of hold down tanks we have a lot of tanks that with a larger profile you know actually the m4 has three good things about it great top speed very good hold down armor profile and it's alpha damage wargaming just yeeted its alpha damage out the window goodbye 440 or something or 460 alpha i forgot what it's getting nerfed to it's not 480 anymore and it's not gonna have tungsten so yeah M4 is a rip, man. M4 is a rip. See you next time. Thank you. Take Let's care. <laughs> nice game. Thank you. Uh, okay. So. Um, yeah. Rip M4. VK72 is going to be the play, guys. 100%. VK72 is going to be the new, just most versatile alpha damage heavy tank in tier 10. It's going to have better DPM. It's going to have better accuracy. It's going to have better mobility. It's going to have better armor like there was nothing about the vk72 that's getting nerfed and i'm so excited to see how that tank will perform that's also another tank i'm really looking forward to playing by the way um when the update comes out with all the balance changes all right i'm gonna go to the middle here and ooh, we we got some interesting piggies already so unfortunately that one misses but enemy team do not appear to have any seaside control so that's always fun ain't it oh my goodness that's a cron all right put a track shot into him there I can back up here a little bit and side scrape it out just a little bit. Um, if this dude tries yellowing in, that's his demise, basically. Nice. I can hold this corner very, very comfortably here. All right. Good stuff. The enemy Kron can't really do a whole lot here. Same with the enemy E4. I mean, if they want, they could try pulling out on me. It's not going to go well for them. Quick shot on him there. Good stuff. Ah, yes. E4. I know a great plan. It's called YOLO the Super Conk. Do you know that plan? It's very fun. It's very, very fun. I promise you. Same with you, buddy. Same with you. Yolo the Super Conk is a good plan. Yep. Good job, guys. Just ignore everyone else. Ignore everyone else. And keep focusing the Super Conk, okay? That's gonna make all of your problems go away. I promise you. <laughs> Do you see how chill this tank is, guys? Do you see? I'm just holding this corner with the cover fire of my allies. Enemy team cannot do anything about me there. Okay, that was definitely an auto aim issue for that shot. Oopsie. Um, we, we don't mess that one up big time, boys. All right, Mr. Kran Wagon. Quick shot to his tracks there. Not even showing too much of my drive wheel, so he's gaming on this dude as well. Kran Wagon's like, I'm a Kran Wagon. I should be super good at this game. No, you are not. Hmm. That could be problematic. That could definitely be problematic, couldn't it? Kill tanks? Yeah, I was concerned about the E4 because I thought he might be flanking for me. That does not appear to be the case. All right. Oh, Grand Wagon, give me the kill shot on the roof of your turret. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, I'm so glad for these close and competitive games, guys. This was uh, this was well played by the enemy team. They were playing Focus the Grand Wagon, uh, the Super Conk Simulator, and it went very well. Alright, 3.8k damage dealt, and that looks like about... Oh, the Carol just uses Reserve Shell. Maybe I can get one more shot out. Nice, 4k. <laughs> <laughs> Spent too much money on the MLE F M4 and we're gonna be just ruining just ruining. They have to buff it back. I don't think the M4 is gonna be like played ever. Eventually it will get buffed again. I just think removing its alpha is the wrong play, man. Its alpha is like the nicest thing about the tank, in my opinion. Being able to get those 500 damage rules with tungsten and stuff was so satisfying. Um yeah, big brain game by the enemy team there. These players are hilarious. <laughs> I know it was a disaster. That was like a prime game for me just to chill in the mid. Super Conquer recruit. Help me, guys. I need more tea. Well, I'm going to have some tea. My good old-fashioned streamer's tea. Another sweep. I know, right? <laughs> Russian disaster. It's not so bad if I have same control mode on. Um, usually, because I think mobile teams tend to be a little bit slower with their heavy tanks and stuff like that. Sometimes you can get a lot longer lasting games on average, but yeah, that was just a sweep game. Um, also, I am quite literally handicapping myself again because I decided to turn auto aim off just for fun 
Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I was getting bored of playing the Super Conqueror. Like, it's a great tank, don't get me wrong. It's very generic though. And that could be a bit boring at times. So I just totally upped the challenge of the stream randomly by turning auto aim off uh, just to make things more difficult for my life, basically. That's that's the only reason why. Am I fast enough? Am I fast enough? Am I fast enough? Uh, oh my gosh, I got spotted there. That might have hit. What, what the heck spotted? Oh, I see the light tank with yellowing sea corner. Interesting. I think I'm going to go back and hold with Mr. Mouse here. This sounds like a plan. This is no boys. Oh my gosh, this yo. Enemy armor is hit. All right, he's running the big boy gun, so I can maybe put another shell to his lord. Oh no, he's running the small gun. Like, <laughs> I love the Super Conqueror's armor profile, dude. It just goes burr. It quite literally just goes burr. Oh my gosh, is he not gonna poke up? Oh, wait, he's gonna poke up again. Like, hey, we're hitting all of our shots so far, guys. I think I did blind fire him, by the way. Mr. Mouse really wants to take- Oh, he should've shot the mouse. The mouse was side on. He should've shot the mouse there. Yo, this poor E4 can't even hide from me. I feel bad for him almost. He just can't even hide. Poor dude. The whole team's dead already. Mmm, <laughs> it's so satisfying getting shots at that auto way. I'm not gonna lie. It makes me feel like it's 100% my own skill. Okay. So Leo's just dead. Goodbye. Very well, Leo. Get HE'd up the booty. We're not. Gotcha. Wait, they have a Type 71? Where the heck? No way. <laughs> they actually have a Type 71 up there? Bruh. What's up, Grill? What's up? Let's, let, let's, uh, let, let's, let's, uh, let's dance together, shall we? Dance! <laughs> Where the heck is their Type 71 at? Oh, he's up there. How peculiar of him. Ah. Well, I'm not gonna farm him out in time, guys. He's definitely dead before I get to- Oh, wait, no, no, yes, Yolo right in the Papa. Yes, get Papa one more shot of damage. Get Papa one more shot of damage. One more shot. Yes! Lovely stuff there. <laughs> hey, Vanis, STV was always my favorite chit in med. STV is about to cook, man. <laughs> Russian disaster, if you have not kept up to date, basically, oh my gosh, their team. No way. Zero damage, zero damage, 200, 300, 600, 600, 700. Ooh wee, that was bad of their team. A little partial to the 50M because you ramming is fun. Yeah, I totally get that, 100%. Ramming's great. Um, While the enemy team was terrible, they, uh, they successfully did all sub 1K damage, all sub 800 damage, as a matter of fact. That takes some true skill. All right, guys, let's do that 200 like mark. There are 200, almost 300 of you guys viewing. Let's get that 200 likes, guys. Autocorrect being sus. Dude, my brain autocorrecting is being sus. You should have seen me earlier when I combined the word shot and hit together. You know what that will create? Ay ay ay. Now that is true susness. That's true susness when your brain starts randomly merging words together. Okay. Um. Hmm, they got some strong heavy A's and that auto aim, I don't know if I really want to deal with the mouse, but it's great, why not? Oh wow, yes, I'm glad this tank is uh, great dispersion on movement. All right, let's see. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's see if we can at least spot the crossing up a little bit here. No mouse spotted. They have double TVPs and E6 on the flank already. My team's all kind of just covering that side. I don't know if the mouse crossed already. I doubt he did. The 113 is also open. Okay, 113's down low. Their team... The biggest mistake I can make right now is overextending without the support of my allies. However, if I do nothing, well, how did I only get 200 assists there? I spotted those foolish up. I call it blasphemy. Absolute blasphemy. All right, hello, Mr. Grill. Ooh, no spot either. Nice. I'd spent too many years aiming that shot in thanks to my no auto aim adventures over here. Alright, maybe the SCOG is not the best thing to do no auto-aim adventures in because it does have a bit of the Ratatimus accuracies. 
mega retardivus accuracy. Um, what are these TVPs doing? I have no clue what these TVPs are even doing anymore, man. I'm just gonna send it. Psych. Maybe not. Pre-aim. Nice. Without auto-aim, you get really good at trying to predict where a vehicle's turret's gonna be when you're pre-aiming for so like weak spots like on a mouse and stuff. It's not so much about tracking, it's about pre-aiming a little bit. Unless they're doing that, of course. Alright. I blocked 1800 damage already. Did I shoot too early there? Maybe I shot too early. I forgot I'm running supercharged on the Super Conqueror, so its shell velocity is actually insanely good. Um, and the enemy team is not insanely good. They are insanely dead. Enemy armor is hit. And I'm doing insanely little amounts of damage this game. Holy smokes. I did not think their team was all going to get gamed on on this side so much. Oh my goodness. E50M just YOLOing it. <gasps> E50M got gamed on. He's commenced the gaming. Wow, their team is terrible again. I can't farm! <laughs> I actually can't farm damage here. Wow. I mean, mind you, it wandered off into the flank, but oh, of course, we had a rat TVP just clipping them. Our 183 was gaming on them from spawn. Yeah. Basically, those two tanks is all it needs to crossfire those dudes out and just destroy them. All right. Ooh, this will be a fun map. Practice my Capola shots with that auto aim. Thanks for dropping, Rock. He lives in Wargaming Headquarters. Huh? Me? Any recommendations for heavies and new updates to grind? Stats, win rate, WNA, average damage. E5, VK72 are instant heavies that come to my mind. If you're thinking about tech tree vehicles, those would be the first two I'd recommend going for. Evenly matched again. <laughs> Russian disaster. I don't even understand. How are they dying so fast? They kind of just all sent it into a ditch zone. Like I've always said, it rarely goes well if you send your whole team to the low ground. You need to have some of that high ground control, otherwise it becomes pretty despicable. And their team was absolutely no exception to that rule, as they got pretty hardcore game down over there. Hello. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the gunman let block at the HE. Okay. Hello, Mr. Leo. All right, Mr. E4. Quick shot to your lower plates. And let's just keep an eye on what Mr. E100 is doing back there. E4. Is the E4 really one of those players that just sits back and spams HG at you all day? Because if he, if he is, that's just super, super, super annoying. And I hope these 183s delete him from the get, from the battle here. Well, I am hitting my shots. Unfortunately, I can hardly pen an E4's hatch nowadays because they buffed a living daylight out of it for no reason. Oh my gosh, I ran out of gun depression there. Uh, team, team, team. You better be cross-firing me out, you triple TDs back there, buddies. Alright, I might have to turn my auto-aim back on just to deal with this E4's hatch. I'm not sure if it's really worth it, but it might be, might be necessary here. <laughs> it's not a no auto-aim challenge stream, so I feel justified in turning it on if I feel like I might be throwing it because I have it off. Yeah, my aim is so much more stable with it on. It's just, it's just a matter of what you're used to, really, in the end. There's advantages to both. All right. See, I can just hatch snipe him like crazy easy now. That's the advantage of auto aim. It makes those like those hatch shots and stuff super, super easy. See, now we're gaming on this E4 like it's no man's business. All right. Watching out for the E6. We know the 1E3 is a bit of a crossfire from back on the right side here. There he is. Quick shot on him there. Nice. All right, just keep doing my thing, Dak. Excuse me, moi. Bad shot. You're silly. Um, team. There we go. I was gonna say, how is this Leo allowed to pull all the way up like that? And how is this E6 allowed to pull up like that as well? They shouldn't be allowed to do that, basically. Is this Batch still dunking on my allies? Bro, my team. My team is so bad. I have to clear out this Batch if at all possible. Let me see if I can find him on my right here, somewhere. Do you think he came back, or do you think he went all the way to the corner? Oh, interesting play. Oh my goodness. Why is he sitting there of all places? 
Bruh, he's still killing my teammates as well. This is a bruh momento. If I've ever seen one. Alright. I don't know how my allies look the batch. I just sit there all day. This is a rip. I can't yell for him because of crossfires. But I can't really... Okay. Quick reaction time on my side. Because I wasn't even looking at him there for a moment. Hmm. Well, that's a rip to my game, ain't it? Ain't it, boys? Ain't it just a big old fat rip? What? He pens that? Oh, he hit my turret ring. Look at that angle. Insane angles by this E100 player here. Whee! Whee! Ah! No! <laughs> I did my best. I did my best. We finally lost, guys. We finally lost. It done happened. I had the bad team and I couldn't hit their shots. Uh, yes, our mouse with the 400 damage, our T100 with the 400, 500, and our chieftain with the 1100. Uh, yes. <sighs> Enemy's concept didn't even do all that well. <laughs> <laughs> their Batcha Omega farmed. Holy good play by their Batcha. I can't even deny it. Their Batcha like destroyed my team from down there, which is why I wanted to wipe them out. <laughs> we, 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 fatness. Yes, I want to see that as a meme compilation. Do it now. Are they nerfing Chieftain? Uh-uh. Chieftain's just like getting absolutely no buffs though. Basically every tier 10 vehicle is like getting Omega changed. The Chieftain's just like, eh, we'll just leave it. We'll give it like slightly better pen basically on its AP shells and that's it. Because now it has AP standard, which is a which is a buff. And reactive armor. That's like the only change they gave it, I think. Unless I'm mistaken. Uh, reactive is useless on a Chief. AP standard is really nice, but compared to what the E5 is getting and stuff, Chieftain's definitely going to feel a little bit amiss, you could say. Hmm, no one's spotted yet. Okay, yeah, back to no auto aim because I feel this is a more open map. I'll have more time to get my shots here. Well, I don't usually do this, but heck, why not? It looks like their whole team is not even around here, so. May as well. We'll send it, guys. Let's go. Time for some crossfire action. Okay. So my team has quarter control. I'm more concerned about the 183 than really any anyone else right now. Um, but we'll see how this goes. I, I'm assuming they'll have someone in their spawn, but our E5 has spawned no one in the corner. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What do we have here? It's a wee little 183. And his spawn sniping VK72 companion. How lovely is that? Adorable. Is that what I think I see? Is that what I think I see? Is that a spawn sniping E6? Aww. Look at it. The poor little creature. Oh, bless it. It just got sent back to the zoo. Mans could not escape the zoo, apparently. That was a bad shot on my part. Why did he pen? Wait, oh, he hit me in the plate. Good shot, I guess. Anyways, I assume it's only a matter of time before this VK is like, mm, there's a super conk there. Let me pull out and tell it. So I'm going to wait for him here. Uh, well, he is definitely doing that right now. I can tell you that for sure. Oh, of course he hits that, dude. Because the VK's gun handling is really that good. Um, My meds are pretty not helpful over on this side, so I guess I gotta start turning back for this angle. Wait, I can't even spot that dude? Bruh. Bruh, he's like two meters away from me. I think you're gonna pull up or down. Question is, where's the 183 at? Vicky actually made a wise play there. He didn't... I mean, maybe pushing and losing HP wasn't wise, but pulling into the ditch 100% was. So I'll give him credit for that. There's not a whole lot I can do here, man. I guess I'll just sit back and relax, enjoy the show for a little. Is there like really is anything else for me to do? Maybe for just a second here. I'll try spotting up their Leo. Did I back up before the 183 cross fires me out or something? Something diabolical like that. Okay, hello, Mr. VK. We've damaged them. Now the VK is done making some mistakes here. And nice. Can I one? You have another shell, right? Oh, can I one? Must have not had his reserve shell. Can you believe that Leo spent that whole time pre aiming the corner instead of helping his teammates there just to tunnel me while I was unspotted? Like, that takes some true devotion, man. 
That takes some true devotion to spend like a minute staring at a corner with no one peeking. Ah, my shooting is so bad right now. Oh, hi, Mr. Twenty Three. You don't hit those, please. Thank you. Oh, he does hit those. He does, in fact, hit those. Credit where credits due. But he does not get the W. Nor does this Leo. Okay. He's not going to give me any of the damage, though. What a weird game. That was very stale gameplay. Oh, oh welcome to the club. Games seem to be steamrolls one way or the other, basically. <laughs> this one actually lasted for about four minutes there, so at least this one lasted longer. Honestly, I want to bet that this year's Christmas tank will probably be a British tank. How much? Curious. <laughs> Leo turret armor OP. Yeah, we're going to be buff to Leo's turret armor a bit. If you don't have the highest standard pen, it actually can get some weird ricochets now off the top. It's kind of funny. Um, Boffenträger did good. K91 actually did pretty good there. It looks like he was crossfiring out their meds, so that's chill. Uh, basically, I can do a whole lot there. Hey, Fetty, how's the farm going? 50 50 most of the games turned steamroll about 30 minutes ago but before then the farm was really really saucy but uh these last five ten games or so have just been kind of steamrolls i don't know what happens but i guess it's just that time of night where uh everyone starts going crazy mode so let's see what we can do all right i vanished from japan finally got summer cup 2023 apac champion kujo Congratulations! Glad to hear that. <laughs> uh, I forgot how to say congratulations. How, how do you say that? Uh, my brain is my brain is failing me. But congratulations, good job. Uh, on winning, I will have to check. I, I'm afraid to say I did not watch the Asian uh, Cup streams yet, but I was a bit busy at the time, sadly. Get yoinked, buddy. Get yoinked. What you doing there? You Want to get yoinked again? Poke there again. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. Who said you could shoot me from back there? It's so uncool of you, buddy. So they clearly have a pretty big crossfire from town. That's interesting, honestly. Um, it also restricts my plays a lot here. Mostly because crossfires go galore. That's never good stuff. Never good news for my team. So if my team needs to push down from the top here, this grill should not be sitting here for free in our spawn, basically, at this point. Oh my, they still let the 60 TP shoot me? That's incredible. That's honestly incredible. <laughs> I thought for sure these dudes all YOLO again would be able to keep the 60 TP down there. Oh my goodness. I got a Caro problem to deal with here. I don't know what this Caro's problem is. Dude's not making smart pokes here. He's like, yeah, yeah, let's just YOLO into it. That's fun. I think that's his reserve shell. Unless I'm much mistaken here. Oh, no, that's his reserve shell. Bruh. <laughs> that's the nice to think about Karas is you have to really pay attention when keeping track to their shell counter. Oh, our 140 is AFK. I see. Where's the 57 at? Oh, there's the girl. Okay. I think we'll be fine. 23 go FK or is dude just chilling staring at the enemy team from the back of Narnia? I think he decided to sit there and chill. Good stuff. Critical hit. Track hit. 570 heat ricochet there. <gasps> Oh, okay. Thank you. He didn't shoot me. You are a blessing for not shooting me there. Well, uh, yeah, I, I'm afraid this ice is going to cut me off if I trolley pulling it and we could actually lose this if we're not careful, Loki. So I'm just going to get out of here. I don't see any points ice scraping here any longer. I wonder if we can cover our rear basically if we can't just chill back here safely. Okay, buddy, 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 buddy. Let me side scrape this corner here. So if he tries to push in, I can be the one to deal with him. There you go. I wonder if I can free this gap. My concern's more or less the 268. 
I, you're just gonna have to keep chilling there, buddy, for a little longer. Okay, there is the 57. We know where the 68 is. Track shot 57 here. Where's he pens that angle? Through the rear. Oh, the escort must have rear, weak, weak rear drive wheels or something stupid like that. It's okay, I got the ISM covering me if this dude yellows in. At least in theory, I do. I'll pick up the gun myself then. <laughs> I have decided he was not going to cover me any longer there. And we got Lucy Bear yellowing in in the 268. All right, let's go, Lucy. Let's go. Oh, snap. This guy should give me a free shot along this corner here. Ah! I cannot aim without auto aim. Okay, which way is he going? I think he's looking for an IS-4 buddy here. Ooh, hash. Holy smokes, I cannot aim without auto aim. <laughs> Maybe this is why I'm not farming as much damage, guys. Um, before I throw this game, because we do have an AFK and a one shot, let me just put auto aim back on. There we go. <laughs> oh no, I have the ty Type 5 Heavy PC. I think a couple years ago, I got a boat ton of tanks during New, York, a New Year's event and good ones as well. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, if I could hit my shots, I would literally be farming so much more. Um, even with an AFK, we still love though. Yay. Yay. I mean, we're winning most of our games, right? Most of them. <gasps> a down vote from Andres Castillos won. Which player was he? Oh, he was the 62A on uh, Canal. Wait, I didn't even shoot you, buddy. Here, you get the you get the legendary M, the Monkey M, for your zero damage performance there. Uh, did I, I was a battle in my room, in my and my buddy. We were clan for, huh? That was awesome. I was in the battle and my buddy. Oh, I see, I see. I couldn't read that for a moment there. <laughs> I got the ML MLE 54 and the free snow globe when it came out after the test. Lucky you. I still have an M4 MLE. And you know what? I don't plan on having one anytime soon either. Rift farm, but at least a W. Yeah, at least a W. Uh, I, I, I got to turn the auto aim back on, boys. You know, it was fun while it lasted for the memes, but um, unless, I, unless I yoink my sensitivity down by like 15%, I just cannot aim without it. <laughs> it's all about having just too much sensitivity there basically. But I don't want to mess up my sensitivity because then when I turn my auto aim back on, it becomes even worse. So it's like, I wish I could play both at the same sensitivity and I could turn it on and off no problem, but I'll just have to practice some more sometime. Now is not the time. Now is the time to flex my super conqueror. That's the time it is. Pop. Guess his sixth sense was delayed. His package, his sixth sense package got delayed. Oh my goodness, I turned my fan up a little bit, but I think I actually, I think I actually put it at the max. I'm like, why are my curtains flowing like there's a ghost in the room? That would explain why. Okay, so. Oh, oh I get it now. The Kronwagen spawn sniping. Thank you so much, Kron. You've given me so much insight into this lovely battle and how I can best destroy your Gorilla 15, buddy, who is likely to have no support, except for the dudes on the hill. I'll have to watch out for those dudes. But basically, with their Kron in mind, this girl is just alone. Alone. All, all alone. Without friends, without support. Dude is just chilling back here. Okay. The only problem is I actually might be susceptible to a crossfire from the Kron. However, the grill is trying to run away. He's making a pretty good he's making a pretty good escape here. Gotta give credit where credit's due. Um however, is his escape good enough? So for now, I'm going to ignore the going to ignore the grill and actually take the front of the hill here. And retake hill control for my team. At least in theory, that's what's gonna happen here. Yeah. We're gonna have to retake hill control here on the Vickers light, otherwise he's gonna crossfire us out on seaside, so let's try that. F-57 might have messed up a little bit here. R.I.P. to our mans. Nice! The grill gets taken out. Uh, 57 throwing his thing away maybe a little bit here, but oh well. I'll see what I can do. I still have full HP on the hill. 
Nice. Oh, there's the 113. Stop the AP there. You can't just YOLO for me. That'd be a terrible plan on his part. Okay. Oh, don't you just love it when people bite the bait and do the YOLO? Basically here, this Vickers Light really wants to die. That's all I can say. This 113 got stuck in the crossfire. See how easy it was? Take positional advantage, the enemy team can't do anything to you. Which way do you think he went, guys? Aha, uh -huh, so he went through that side. They actually sending it? Track shot maybe? Buddy, you can't... I have 3k spotting almost, guys. I'm just that good at spotting. Can you tell I'm a medium light tank main? I'm always thinking about where you can hold in your medium lights with crossfires for your allies. As you can tell, I primary play meds and lights. I'm always like, mm, what position will allow my allies to farm the most off of my spotting here? Basically, if I saw those dudes up there, and if I took control of the sea hill, killed their vickers, we would get a free win, basically. Um, this dude's about to get HE'd up there, we're calling it. Ooh, or high rolled by an E4. I don't know what the Kron's doing. Dying? He's dying. My farm. My damage. My prices. Okay. Let's see if we can make it work. One more shot, please. Please. Please, it's all I ask. Yoink. <gasps> maybe two, maybe two, maybe two, maybe two. Let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, yes. Gamer Kron. <laughs> I, it, it seemed a bit slower. 113 is a gamer. The 113 was like, ah, man, I messed up. He couldn't run out of a counter cap because I would spot him. He couldn't run to the hill because of the crossfire. It's probably first class for me, yeah. Because I had 2,800 spotting that game. <laughs> The 113 wasn't even having a bad game. He just pushed into a really, really bad spot, unfortunately for him. That's why I've always preached the power of map control, guys. Never let it go for no reason. Big stoop, uh, well, not big stoop. Uh, yeah, kind of big stupid. But basically, if you're if you're in a close game like that, it's better just to hold positions, let the enemy team make the mistake like they did there. But that's why when I saw that their crown was sniping, I'm like, this dude's not going to be good. I can probably just ignore him. And focus on helping my team retake that hill. Does a critical track make you slower or less maneuverable? You know, that's a good question. I've never really thought about that. I know critical tracks are more easily removed. It would make sense that it would maybe slow down your traverse a teeny tiny bit. But honestly, I do not know. I have not actually ever checked that. That's a good question. As far as I'm aware, damage tracks do not uh, slow your tank down too much, at least not to a degree where you really notice. But they definitely will get damaged. When they're damaged, obviously, they can definitely um, be taken off much more easily by tanks shooting at them, basically. <gasps> Goodbye, Fair World. Goodbye, Fair World. Goodbye, Fair World. What, it, what is the whole Mafia doing over here? The whole Mafia just showed up from Narnia to tunnel me. Oh my gosh, I thought I was back up to safety here. What is that? What is that? I was just spotting the crossing. Where are my TDs? 268183, why aren't you just sniping and covering like good little... Look at Andrew here in the Yag. Andrew here in the Yag is a good TD. He's covering the flank. You see, Andrew, he just nuked the T-57. What are you guys doing? Oh my gosh, our chief team moved up. I think that's enough for the Blitz teams. I think that's enough. I, I, that's enough S-Con for me. I, I, I. Ah, uh, there's two and a half hours of S-Con gameplay. I knew I was dead. I knew I was dead. S-Con does not have the reverse speed there to allow me to escape that alive. How much average do I have in this tank? 3787. I want to get 3800 eventually in it one day, but that'll take too long. Ooh. All right, all right. What do you guys want to see me play? Yeah, Escon, great tank. Just don't drive in front of three tier 10 autoloaders plus two other tanks supporting them while your team is all chilling in the mid. <laughs> I started watching Vasquez Nuke for 1k. Dude, 
I don't know what on earth their team is doing. Just YOLOing their whole team through that alleyway. That's a bruh. Like, even their TDs are YOLOing there. Like, they're 268. I mean, I got to give them credit there uh, for that for that push on their side. Very saucy push on that end by their team. Um, you know what? You know what? What, 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 what do we play? <laughs> I'm binking. I am binking. No, I will not play a test tank. Do not ask, please, and thank you. Uh, mm, eh, eh, oh, I haven't played this tank in a long time. What are my stats? Oh, I have 4k in this tank. Uh, Zoltan, thank you for the donation. <laughs> Not really sure what it is. Go play the superior version now, E6. I agree, Dragon. Oh, my team lost so fast. <laughs> Yo, let's go, guys. I still did better than her E100. Let's go. Look at their lineup. Minotaro, TVP, Bashantion, T57. Like, their whole team was autoloaders or 155mm guns. You can't do anything about that, man. They just steamroll one side. <laughs> I will take a game in the E6. Hey, Dragon. Thanks for dropping by. You just, you just saw me accept my fate. I'm not even mad there, man. I'm not even mad because, like... I was just going for a generic spotting run, which theoretically should be safe with three tier 10 TDs kind of behind me and an E100, right? I wasn't YOLOing in or anything. That's why the spot was happening there. I did kind of mess up my driving when I was reversing. I meant to reverse around the rock, but I was trying to angle up to 57 and actually drove into it. That's why you should kind of keep an eye on where you're reversing. That was a bit of an F in the chat on my part. I may have survived longer if I had master reverse there. I still would have died and probably done no more than three shots that game. I quit the game a long time ago, but then I say hi for the last time. So, Ellie, thanks for dropping by. Good to see you. All right, Chad E6, which is easily going to be the one of the one of the best um, one of the best tier 10 heavy tanks in the game when it gets the proper buff. It's not an armored heavy tank, that's for sure. It never was, never will be. But what it will have in exchange is absolutely gamer levels of firepower and mobility combination. Um, my team are trying to hold corner, I think, but they're not doing the best job. So we got Surge from SRT back here. Think about where I want to push. I say it's going through the mid. Is my team holding corner? You know, those three should be fine. They have a 777 on them. Uh, our 405 is getting Omega farmed out back here by the ISA. Oh, that's a ho read. That's a tank that'll butter me with its pen. But also, I butter him back. So, eat. Eat, 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 ho -ri. All right, quick snapshot. Nice, we bounced them. Lovely stuff. I think I'll actually begin to start counter pushing the rear of the enemy team here. The hurry is making a bit of a boo boo here. Actually, I'll reload them, so it should be fine. This is what a true DPM, terrible gun handling combination, looks like, guys. It's all sorts of weirdness. All right, quick shot onto this dude. But look, it's so mobile, you just go wherever you want, basically. You go wherever you want, and you farm wherever you want. All right. This hurry is now coming from my right hand side, I think. He's still looking for me. My team is losing corner. Guys, you have a 777 there. How are you losing that? In a way, fam. Oh, oh boy. These, these are right here. All right. Quick shot to this dude. You know what? I got to ignore this dude if I can to pick up some kill shots here. Or he's a one shot. I don't want to take one, but I got to clear him out because my team is getting Omega farmed. No, I'm gonna focus this 140 because he's farming the back of my allies here. Mm, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh no, now the 268 might just hit me here. Okay, Master escape him. Nice, he got nuked for it as well. Good stuff. Uh, I gotta push up for this 268 slash standard B, I guess. The 140 is definitely gonna be a problem on the left side here. Make sure to the standard here. I'm not really sure where the 268 is going to be. But I assume he can't have ran off far. He might have gone underneath. It would appear he has gone underneath. My teammates are now dead. Yo, we're getting ricochets for days, boys. We're getting ricochets for days. Oh, I misfired, bro! What is that garbage? I actually hit my fire button there, but I didn't even mean to. He might out-reload me here. Okay, I'm running grammar. He's not, probably. 
Okay, okay, okay. Here's my last hope here. Wait, can I actually run away from here? No one party is going to catch me anyway, so it's GG. It's GG, game over. <sighs> I missed my fire button. If I hadn't actually misfired there, it would have been fine. Ay, ay, ay. Mistakes were made, guys. Mistakes were made. Where do you think that 140 is going to come from? Go. 140 fluff and one shot already here. Oh, I got to push in here. No! Terrible team, terrible, terrible, terrible team. How do you lose corner, man? Ow! Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Well, yeah, E6 did his job. That was the easy 4K in the life, but oh my gosh. M60 did two shots there. The 777, like the easiest hold down tank, bruh. Y'all got gamed on by this dude and an object 140 that couldn't even shoot you guys because he didn't have the gun depression. That's a bro momento. Um, GG to their tune, I guess. My tune, unfortunately, did not quite do so well there. That's a feels bad man moment. My alley got me thinking, what could go wrong if I mix vodka with squash? Uh, good question. Russian disaster. Why don't you inform me? <laughs> Scotch plus beer is a bad idea, as it is. <laughs> Big surprise. Uh, but the E6 did its job really, really well there. The E6 did do its job really well. You know, it worked as expected. Its gun was a little troll at times, but its DPM and mobility allowed it to just kind of be amazing. Um, if I hadn't accidentally hit my fire button there, it might have been because I had just recently moved its position and I mistapped it by accident. Um, I probably would have killed their E6 before taking a shot. Maybe that could have given me... I don't know if it would have given me a W, but it could have given me a higher chance of winning. Um, speaking of teams, this whole team wants to go town side. So I guess I'll go for an early spot on this end, maybe. Okay, that's a VZ. Don't poke me, buddy. Okay, we know the VZ's position, although their E6 is spawn sniping. Interesting development already. My only concern is we have such little information what the enemy team's doing at the moment. Really, really little information. I'm gonna be patient until I figure out exactly what their team is doing, where they're going, where their TDs are, all that fun stuff. I'll take a blind shot there just in case. One way's there. Easy's here. 114's in town. Okay, I'm gonna go take the bridges. This is the most logical play for me right now to give my team positional advantage. So, yoink, tanks fast. We are a speedy boy, so we make it across. So, their whole team spot stacking. What a peculiar development to this battle. All right, quick shot to this dude's other play. Oh my gosh, this DPM. Can you can you guys believe Wargaming is buffing this tank's DPM, by the way? Buffing it. It already has such good DPM and pen, and they're actually just going to buff it again. Like, bruh. It, it's it's going to have, like, 3,500 plus DPM now, which on a tier 10 heavy is absolutely ridiculous, in my opinion. And it still has that troll hatch armor profile and everything. Yeah, this tank is going to cook so much next update. It's going to be more accurate. It's going to be more mobile. It's going to have more DPM. It doesn't get much better than this, man. I just cannot wait for this tank to get its changes. It's going to be kind of broken, along with the STB-1. This tank and the STB-1 both. Apparently, everyone's terrible at penetrating it, too. That's 2,000 damage still. All right. Your boy is a bit damage greedy right now. He wants to see what he can do to get the most maximum farm out of this game. Oh, my. That definitely ain't it, Chief. I'm going to bleed out way too much here now. I don't think their E6 is just going to send it back for me like so. We're 20 into the hall. Heh <laughs> one number. And we both damaged each other's ammo racks there. However, this dude cannot sit back here all day. Wait, the 114 gets reactive armor? How peculiar. How very curious. All right, well, it's time to YOLO, Mr. 114. Yes, I am extraordinarily damage greedy in this tank right now, because I am actually trying to increase its average back to 3,900, which obviously I'll be able to easily do once this tank is changed, but for now, I gotta make every shot count, basically. Okay, that's 4k damage. Piece of cake. All right, where's that Conway at? Watch him high roll me with a headshot. He's on my rear. <gasps> My damage. No! 4099. 
RIP my damage. That uh, E4 probably has him. All right. Not bad. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This tank is so good. It's, it is my favorite tier 10 heavy tank for a reason. There we go. Nice. Apparently someone at war gaming looked at this tank and thought, yeah, it needs more DPM, better speed, everywhere, and combat stabilization. We're going to give it something with pen nerf on AP for balance game modes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, someone was really that. This big rating, okay? Big, big rating. Easy 4K, dude. Just yellowed him for that damage farm in the end. 3890. Hmm. 262 games. I need like a five or 6,000 damage game probably to get it back to 3,900. We will try one more time. Let's see. <laughs> hey, Fanus, what could possibly incentivize you to play the mouse? Uh, next update, I'll play it. Why not? We'll have better gun handling. The only reason I just like the mouse that is, is gun handling is trash. If it had its old gun handling, I actually would not mind the mouse at all. I actually used to kind of enjoy yelling around in it. It was kind of memes. But um, currently, it is ugh, gun. Now the gun is getting buffed. Next update, you're going to have 2700 DPM with rammer. Your aim time is losing 0 0.4 seconds of aim time. So it actually might cook again. Also, it's removing the weak spot or lessening the weak spot where you get shot through the tracks and it pens your vehicle. So all of you APCR spammers that track drive at the drive wheels of a mouse from between the lower plate, you might struggle penning that nowadays. So the mouse look kind of getting a nice buff, although it still fundamentally has the same issues with its armor profile, which you got to work with. But I think the mouse is actually going to be pretty decent when it gets its changes. All right, let's see what we can spot up here. Guys, we are on the damage grind. I'm sweating, okay? I'm sweating to fix my stats up in this tank. <laughs> fix my stats, I say, 3,800 average, but uh, compared to what I want, that's not high enough. Is the enemy team seriously not sending anyone over here? Oh, wow. They're just really, really slow with it. Interesting. All right, Mr. Yo. Just distracted for a moment. Nice. We gotta take advantage of this to farm him out. Right, fired once. There's a big, big gun. Fired twice there. Side shot should go. Not sure how that one missed, but these heavies are gonna get farmed out really fast, so we gotta take advantage of that while we can. Nice. Basically, once these heavies are out, goodbye damage farm. Woo! -wee. What did he hit? Not sure where he hit, but I'll happily take it. Another 340 V into him. I only got 1500 farm on those heavies before they died out. That's kind of a rip, if you ask me. Okay, that's the grill. Nice meme. Um, oh my goodness, there's an E6 there. As I max rolled him. That's good news for me. Uh, I don't want to back up into a confounder here. Is this dude running rammer or not? He must be grinding calibrated if it's taking that long to reload. He <laughs> a rammer lifestyle, my dudes. The rammer lifestyle. Let's see if he's running rammer or not. Another easy pen. He does pen me through my hatch there. Good for him, but he's taking a one for one trade every single time, which cannot end well for him. Um, my team are gonna just, the grill's gonna get yeeted from the game. Goodbye. I'm gonna go back and see if I can maybe find the Kampf Panzer. If I can full HP farm him, I might be able to get my damage out right away. Or the 263. Oh, there's the Kampf Panzer. Now, the Kampf Panzer has Omega High DPM, but he might struggle here a little bit against me. Oh, well, never mind. Not at the 263 is allowed to shoot at me. That was an error on my part there. I don't think the 263 is going to turn back for me. Ah! SOS! Track shot, maybe? <gasps> nice, 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 nice. He fluffs his shot. He fluffs his shot. Final gun depression over the rear. Nice. <laughs> okay. Take it nice and chill, buddy. Woo. He's shooting heat at me. Our concept's taking a counter push on the other flank there. Buddy. I'll make him panic and pull up a little bit here. I just have like no assistance on this side, I see. 
Okay, he ran out of gun elevation. Easy kill. <laughs> That's not the 5k I was looking for, but I'll take it. It's so funny. This take is so fast. You can see how many people miss the lower plate and end up just hitting the upper plate and ricocheting. <laughs> Uh, that was a mistake on my part. I didn't think the 263 was going to shoot at me there. 4.6k damage dealt, though. Okay, not bad. I mean, I, get, I did get the full health to cop Panzer, so that's always a W, right? Uh, what's the average damage in this tank now? 3893. Mm. One more try. One more try. <laughs> you get to see how sweaty I get when it comes to damage stat grinding. Aye, aye, aye. Love when YouTube doesn't give me stream notifications. Jack, that's why you gotta be on the Discord with the at only notifications. Then you always get notified. Camp Panzer Brain. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, <laughs> it's the same Camp Panzer. Let's see. Type ST1 23 5405 SU 12254. I could go med side or I could try just eating heavy side. Both sides have viable options. Low key. Do I go for optimal damage farm or do I go for the win? In this case, I'm gonna go for the win. I'm gonna sacrifice my damage from this game probably though. Optimal damage farm would actually be sending me to the middle there. But if I do that, people like this TVP who is very, very slow in reading reading what the team is doing. Uh, yeah, nice dude. Buddy, you're just gonna give up all the map control. Basically, if you lose this on the map, it's really hard to win the ship side. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take an L and go this side. I know it's not optimal for farming damage or anything, but it at least will give my team a high chance of winning, which is what more important to me right now, I guess, for the, for the time being. All right. Time to see you spot, Mr. Kalfanza. Come on. I feel like my buns are a little lower than they should be. A little bit higher. There we go. See, that's the farm I wanted to go for. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I had to swap the heat from heat to AP there. I should have gone ship. I would truly really have so much free farm if I'd gone ship. How did that miss? Maybe he didn't poke it? Look at the type's HP. Look at the SD1's HP, dude. You know, our Kron's just gonna hold here. Buddy! Never mind, our Kron is terrible at holding. Still, I can go for a bit of a crossfire in their type, maybe. Inside the turret. Just gotta watch out that the 405 is positioning there. Alright, their type definitely made a huge mistake here. Enemy you gonna pull out or not? I doubt it. Gets so much cover fire from TDs as well. Yeah, this 405 for starts could be a huge threat. 45 didn't spot me though. He has no clue I'm here yet. Oh, that's where the 183 went. Our TVP gets taken out there. 45 fluffs a shell. My reverse speed is better than his. Okay, 45 is on a magazine reload now. SU's covering. Oh my gosh, she is covering this side here. Nice crawl, make him a one shot. So I can pick up a kill here. Nice, okay. Now we gotta watch for their 183 crossfires on our rear here. Crawl, you're gonna have to pick up the kills on that side. I gotta go back and defend spawn basically at this point. I hope that 422 doesn't throw me up on rotating back to a safer position. Okay. Spotting position was a success. Might be able to farm out here. You can see, you can see how easily my team would have lost this if I hadn't kept that TVP and 405 at bay or Kampfpanzer. Our Kron did a good job, but I guarantee he would have died there without me just kind of sitting back preventing them from yoloing him. So I actually might end up farming enough damage this game. Kind of depends on whether or not I can kill this 183 or for Waffenträger can. That's bad. That's bad. Okay. We know where the SU positioning is. Guys, 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 what are you doing? Just have to hold. We know where the SU is. There's no need to YOLO into him. Okay, I know where the SU's positioning is perfect. Of course, he rolls 463 with his hash there, dude. 
He's gonna kill me, isn't he? Dude, what are you doing? Waffle! What are you doing? You had full hit points. Why did you just stay there? Kron, why didn't you shoot the 432 pushing up? Ay, ay, ay. Garbage. I should have just st stayed back and hid. Dude, instead of pulling Hall down into the ditch, our T30 sits all the way in the open and dies. Our Waffle yells in the town by himself, and now our Kron is just dead. He's just gonna get crossed right out, man. I'm gonna get crossed right out by the SU, splashed by the 183 for sure. Oh! Maybe if you kill the... Four okay, SU's in mid. Go, 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 go. You gotta be faster than this, dude. Are you with a high roll? Go for it. Yeah, there's no way he defeats these two dudes, man. I'm telling you. Even with his absolute insane sped boost. Track him. Track him. Track him. Go. Nice. Yo, maybe if the SU absolutely sucks, he might be able to pull this off. Oh my. Wait, is the Kron actually braining? Oh, Kron, don't get stuck. Yo, the Kron, the Kron could big brain here, guys. If he's smart, he could absolutely... Oh, he just got brained on even harder, though. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Better just let him try and push over for you and track him and stuff like that. Let's watch this 1v1. I have a feeling our Kron could win this. Unless the SU is smart enough to shoot HE. And the SU did have farm for days on these Pepegas. But you gotta go for the face hug. You gotta go for the face hug. Don't angle, don't angle. Face hug straight on. Ah, uh, he got HE. He got HE. If he hadn't let himself get shot there, yeah, I low-key think he could have pulled that off. Uh, of course I get scammed with the fortress. You're gonna go hot, a mega high roll on the hash, bruh. So dumb. This dude did four shots of damage all game, and then of course the two shots you get are all high rolls. Um, well, I thought we were gonna win, but then this Waffenträger Andy decides to YOLO into town, miss all of his shots, and uh, I don't know what he did. If the T30 had just pulled into the cove there instead of sitting up top, and the waffle had just like sat back and covered, he didn't need the yolo there. We would have been fine. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I had to retake spawn control kind of because they had a perfect crossfire, and I was, that's why I wanted to get the 422 and stuff out of our spawn if I could. I was aware of the crossfires that were present there, but I mean, at least I still did 3500 damage. It would have been nice if I could have done more. I just don't, I just don't know, man. That, that, that 422 should have died for Rubik's saying like that. I thought her Kron had crossfires in the mid. Is the only reason I pushed up there. I guess he probably pulled, he probably started pushing forward right as I made it to that position to, so where he wouldn't be able to shoot them. I was like, bruh, that 422 should never have been allowed to sit out sideways like that with the Kron in mid, but I think the Kron didn't hold mid. He was pushing up. So that was a bit of a rip. I was hoping he wouldn't push up though. It would be much more valuable for him to sit back and chill. Sure, where that shot went, but oh well. Ooh, I got spooted. Psych, I think I'm actually gonna cross all spotted. You are so silly. I will cross, just not while I'm spotted, you see. Very big brain. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's a caro. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Buddies, this is just gonna hurt straight up. Okay, so my allies are just terrible cover fire here. And I've just got a straight up run because of how horrendous their cover fire is. Nice try, E4, you thought. My team, if my team doesn't win mid, I'm gonna be surprised because we have like no cover on this side of the map. But he's still trying to shoot at me. Okay, let me escape, please. Poor, poor, poor dude in spawn is just getting wrecked, but I gotta do what I can to help our 907 here. Of course, their whole team's just yoloing that side, everyone. And of course, this rat in the ob in the projecto is just gonna sit there and pre-aim this whole time. And guess who else is yoloing for me? Yeah, that's a rip for the damage. What on earth, man? Oh, Kronwagen! And the Burger 7101 sitting in the back of spawn. Minotauro sitting in the back of spawn. Gorilla redlining. What are these dudes doing? You have no shots from here. Are you telling me you all sat there and just tried shooting at a progo? I should have gone mid. I should have listened to my instincts there, man. Well, that's a rip to the average damage for sure. That is a mega rip. All right. <laughs> what a terrible team, dude. Ay, ay, ay. I should have gone mid. I should have gone mid. My brain was saying, don't go corner. But I was like, yeah, we'll be fine. There's no way. If the Kara hadn't gone corner, it literally would have been fine. 
But it was the fact that they had a Karo there that was just scuffed for that. So, I will I will solo stat grind the tank later. They had no gas, dude. <laughs> Honestly, I know how to fix all of these rats that don't know how to play heavy tanks. Just put synchro control mode supremacy combo on. Keys will get longer, but I guarantee mobile players do not play that trash. So. Everyday blitz match, dude. And of course they have a bunch of other Andy's just sitting back tunneling, like for me only. Zero damage, one shot. Or we had two crons, one spawn sniped did two shots, the other <laughs> took three shots, bro. Yeah. I mean a 907 did fine. Our girl probably only farmed late game, so that doesn't really count. I'll try one more game with the uh, mobile queues in the E6. We'll see. We'll see if the stack running goes well at all. Where is my E6? I'll probably tanked by average by like 20 though. Yeah, I went from 93 to 81. That's a that's an F in the chat. Well, let <laughs> me go play fake Grand Order. Enjoy, Curious. Enjoy. <laughs> Fancy wrote auction as action in the stream description. Bro, I could have sworn I did it correctly. Uh... Oh, wow. Well, it must have autocorrected. Weird. I can say that, though. No biggie. Oh, okay. Let's begin. Mobile queues, generally speaking, are a little slower. You don't have these Pepega, like, five tanks all just YOLO one side while your team spawn sniping scenarios as much. As much. It does still happen, but it's a little rarer. You can see already my team's splitting up a lot more. And I'm guaranteeing at this point that enemy team might split up as well. If I can get, like, one 6k game right now, I can fix my average uh, up to where I want it to be. I just got to be very careful of their 183. He's not spotted yet. He could be doing who knows what at the back of the map. Okay. Well, we know where their V4 is. Nice. There's their VK going down low. I'm a little concerned that the 183 is back there. He's not spotted. That's why. V100's ISO. He's going to get counter pushed here. Enemy team might give me a shot here. Not quite. They're playing cautious. They're making the right play, though, uh, yellowing that E100. He's pretty isolated on that side. Let's see if I can barely... Uh, I'm not going to risk it with that 1A3 unspotted. My team's going to steamroll the top side, though. Absolutely steamroll it. Yeah, that was fast. Okay, so the 1A3 was by the building, as I kind of thought it would be. Is he going to give me a shot, though, when he backs up? I will definitely take advantage of that. Nice. The VK is getting farmed out. I want to deal damage here. I'm going to have to be looking more aggressive. As rat as it may seem. As their team is kind of getting dunked on up top over here, man. All right. Quick shot to the VK here. 23 still distracted on someone else. A shell up here. Good stuff. 23 still distracted. Let's go. I'll just be a, a mountain goat now. Okay, the 23 could come for me a little bit here. More concerned about the 183 trying to shoot at me. He was trying to shoot at me. See, always be aware. <laughs> when they're not spotted for that long. Okay, guys, there's no way you haven't killed this one shot IS 7 already. Like, come on, boys. Nice. Let the farm continue. You know what? Even, though, even if the V4 shoots me, I'm just going to yellow in here. Nice. Hmm, that dude's still on reload for a moment longer. Maybe I can get one more shot into this crown here. Kill him one more shot. Nice. Alright. And I guess that's my damage for the game. Because the Yeager is just going to send it on this dude. We did get 4k out, though. That's the good news. We got 4k damage out, but he don't back up. Ah. <laughs> I had to be so aggressive there. Oh, it's your making quick mates. Good morning, bro. <laughs> echo, echo, echo. For real, curious. Why are PC players so bad compared to mobile? You would think it'd be the opposite. Mechanically, they're not technically worse. I think in the end. <laughs> Andres Casillas. I feel like I ran into him earlier. Low key. Um, I think it's just that mobile players tend to be a little bit actually slower which slows down the gameplay a lot and just makes it a lot easier to take advantage of. Generally speaking, like I said, it's not 100% time. You're still going to absolute steamroll two-minute games on mobile too, but 
Generally, I find them to be a little bit easier to manage. I'm assuming high average damage is rough once you hit a certain point. Once you have 260 games in a tank, trying to get it up by like 10 average is a pain. Well, 18 average for me. E6 gang hijacked the Super Bunker stream. Basically, Super Bunker is great. I think we still won at about 80%-ish or so uh, throughout the stream with the tank. So it's good. Um for two, you know, two and a half hours. I just kind of felt like playing a little bit of E6. So maybe you guys can see me play extra sweaty for stats. Essentially. Uh 422, 57, 113, Minerato, IS7, Jaeger Okay. They have some mobile heavies. They have some mobile. I have a shirt in spotting mid, probably a one two one. I'm gonna go middle for now. And I'll figure out what I want to rotate to afterwards. Ooh, if I can farm those TDs, that'd be fantastic. But I don't want to run into a 183 Yag or um, 57 or, or 113. I, I, heck, I don't want to run into any of them. We'll see. Sh wait, sure. Um, guys, can you please move out of spawn? Please and thank you. It would be very much appreciated. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go spot up our spawn. This might be a mistake, dude. So, I think my team needs someone to spot up our spawn here. I'm a Minotaur for cover fire, at least. Let's we'll see if they overextend or something back here. Actually, I'm not gonna give them the early spot on me. Luckily, the D6 has enough mobility to pull back. Okay, who do I got for cover fire? Oh my gosh, the 57 is the one that ends up spotting me, dude. And what? Minotaro's over there. IS7's over there. 57's in the middle of the map. This is so bizarre. What on earth is their team doing? Hi, 422. Okay, so one of the TDs is likely the one on the middle cap there. Or it could be the 113, one of the two. Or it could be the 113. Yep. Could definitely be the 113. So, this is not a very ideal scenario, sitting here, facing off versus all these TDs and stuff. <laughs> Where are my allies at? Oh, Minotaro. Whatever happened to sitting back and covering your homie in the back here, man? What? Bruh. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, and of course, we ricochet off of him there. Uh, Minerazzo, 121, 113. 113, you are, you're literally from origin. How are you not better at covering your allies here? Okay, the 57 will could potentially crossfire me, but I don't think he's gonna... Yeah, never mind. He's definitely gonna crossfire me there. Wait, what shot? Oh, the oh, I7 came back for me. Brody! Oh, now you come back. You're from origin. What on earth are you doing at A? It was so obvious their team went down after 30 seconds of them not being spotted. And once again, useless allies for cover fire. Sheridan's still sitting at A, bruh. Uh, we should probably win that, honestly. Ugh! <laughs> hey, Fidu. Trash teams. Ugh! I expected better of Origin players, not gonna lie, but oh well. Dude should have read like within the first 45 seconds that their whole team was kind of midtown and he could have rotated back with me. We could have just counter pushed down together and swift swept it, but uh chose to sit at A cap for like two minutes that game. Very sad. Okay, let's end it in style. Oh, actually, new 405 legendary camo looks kind of sick, right? But uh as per usual, I'm gonna end it on a 1A3 game. <sighs> <laughs> Fidui is a game mode Andy. <laughs> it's nice to see you get wrecked sometimes. Yeah, only when I have trust in a teammate who's in a top one NA clan <laughs> to rotate back. Um, that was a that was a mistake. Honestly, my mistake every single time is when I take a position to help my team out. I swear, I only took that position so my. Allies would not get crossfired from spawn, and so I could keep them spotted for for the for my TDs. But nah, they just they just can't shoot. Apparently, they they just don't know how to rotate back or shoot or like position themselves accordingly. I just need to sit back and snipe. 
<laughs> game modes, yes, not pubs yet. Yeah, if you do, it's a good idea not to play pubs right now. They're diabolical. They are absolutely diabolical. If I just if I just always played for myself, I would have much higher average damage, but my win rate would definitely tank as a result. So it's kind of like a, a trade-off, in my opinion. My team might win that game. I don't know. All I know is I'm definitely going to solo my E6 averages after it gets buffed, actually. Why am I trying to increase its average right now? It doesn't make sense. As good as it is. Usually I have like 4,500 average sessions in it when I'm not streaming. But of course, when I'm not streaming, it's a completely different ballpark in terms of my concentration. <laughs> Sometimes I feel the urge to play Blitz again, but then I get sucked into <laughs> RL troubles. I feel you. <laughs> Okay. Alright, let's just end it with one good game in the 183. Then I can die in peace. Then I can die in peace. My poor... I sh really should have ended uh, the E6 damage farm after those first three, like, good games. I was like, yeah, this is good. I should probably just end it now. I was having too much of a good time in the tank, considering I've been streaming for several hours and I'm not even playing at my heightened level. Um, yeah, honestly. <laughs> If I just stop playing when I when I had a chance. Okay, if you want to take an equal trade, that's fine, buddy. But you're being way too aggressive there. What is this 5-8? What is Tassar doing over here, dude? What is our 60 TP do? What is our... What, uh, I, I, I've lost... I've lost hope for humanity. Spitbega Andes are all just throwing their tanks away for free for absolutely no reason. All right. Dang it, it didn't pen. How did the 1-2-1-B not spot him from point blank there? I don't get it. What are you shooting at, buddy? Uh, object 777, buddy. Buddy in the object 77. Or 752. Maybe come help your team out. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. Go give your team a helping hand on this side. Watch, we hit the half shot. I'll take it. I'll take it. I had a ricochet to boot. <laughs> no big hash damage. All ricochet hash pens, but I'll take it. Dude, it's roughly a one shot now. We're killing this dude. Nice. Well, my team is losing the flank. And there's some fight. James Hopkins over here is still looking the wrong way. I'm honestly kind of impressed, Loki, not gonna lie. Alright, Mr. 5A, you done messed up a little bit here, buddy. Earth is my team anyways, dude. Hit. Oh, oh my. What is that RNG? You know what, Cro you know what, Emil? Take the fall damage, buddy. <laughs> uh, team? A team? How did you lose the flank? I literally was holding off heavy side by myself over here after a 60 TP and 120 be suicided. Uh, bruh. I got scammed. I got scammed. This was not the 183 game I was looking for. Hey, we still won in the end. Rip average damage in the E6, dude. Azura. Azura? Azura? Is that Azura? <laughs> uh, let's see. Decent one to one stats, but then again, one to one is like a hogger's farm tank. Other than that, it's a. At least we won the E6 game, even if I didn't get the big Chad. Um, the big Chad damage is there. I mean, the point is, I still did stop their 183, their 422, and their, and their 113 from just like downright pushing them on my team. They wasted probably about two minutes there focusing on one tank and spawn, so. Like, essentially, I still performed my role, but it just did not go as planned. All right. <laughs> Blitz has been turned into into the economy. Trash. <laughs> big, big brain, big brain with that one. You just scammed so hard on that 422, man. The dude should have died there. I would have been happy.
I wish I'd saved my shot, Loki. I really wish I'd saved my shot. Maybe he'll back up a little bit here. Let's have faith, lads. Let's have faith. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Wait, I'm gonna get spotted before him if he actually backs up there. Oh. <laughs> Come on, just a hair more, buddy. Just a ah, yes, thank you. Hmm, that was painful. That was painful. What is her? James Hopkins again! Stop throwing your take away for no reason, dude. It's so scuffed. Do you see how many autoloaders the enemy team has? It is so scuffed, this game. Just because of the sheer number of autoloaders their team has there. Alright, maybe I can this waffle and traga. While avoiding their 183 at the same time. They have a yo at double 57, I think. My whole team's in spawn or dying. Ah, uh, this is not looking good, guys. This ain't looking optimal, team. I'll tell you that for sure. Oh my goodness. Now the yo spotted me up, dude. Oh my gosh, my teammates. I think my teammates have the big ratatamus prime behavior. Team. SOS, some help here would be nice. Team. SOS, some help here would be nice. Enemy vehicle is <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Fortune is gonna kill this dude, and then he's gonna be able to push onto me for free, maybe. But if he tries, he'd also be broadsiding a 183, so does he make that risk? Apparently he does make that risk, but will it pay off is the big question. I'm more worried about what that yo is doing right now. Do we know where the waffle is at least? Oh my, I misfired. I am so dumb. I was not trying to shoot there. I was trying to hold my shot in for a little longer. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm giving the waffle the kill, buddy. Psych. Team, you are such Pepega Andes. What are you? What is this 183 doing? Dude, I literally kept the Forter 2, the Waffle, and the Yo spotted this whole time. All you had to do was pull up and shoot any of them. Like, bruh, this, this dude just threw so hard. I should have just saved my shot instead of trying to shoot for the Waffle, but I really didn't mean to hit my fire button quite there. I was going to wait a little longer. <laughs> aye, 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 man. I'm getting scammed in the 183 as well, thanks to these teams. John James Hopkins, please never be on my team again. <laughs> please and thank you. Just 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 don't ever be on my team again. This is the second time you've sat around and just died for no reason. This 422 is so lucky. He didn't even do that much damage for a 422. Dude. Bruh. It's so scuffed when your team like has no auto loaders and their team has a 57 heavy platoon and a yo and like all these like rat auto loaders <laughs> what did you say russian disaster <laughs> lucky to watch you are observing on one live stream you are the best from south korea oh play more thank you very much for the support i'm actually in north america but I do appreciate it uh which tries did you enjoy the most is it e or asia or americas come on no local bias well i can't be biased if the only finals i watched was the north american ones so yeah i'll have to watch back buff eventually <laughs> maybe 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 one day maybe one day <laughs> All right, you know what? Just because I'm trying to get like one fun meme game in the 183, I don't really care what teams I get. <laughs> Rip the 183's win rate. I was winning a lot beforehand, though. Ugh. Miss RGN on tournaments? Me too. That's the only reason I would ever return to comp, actually, would be if my ring team revived. Well, if it do revive to comp, maybe Dragon, um, probably Mo. Uh, who else would I want? Uh, Fishy retired way before Rain even retired, so I wouldn't count him. Yeah, probably at least those dudes. If those dudes revived and convinced, they would maybe be able to convince me to play comp again. 
the Russian disaster. Thanks for dropping by. As always, good to see ya. Hope you take care and uh, have a good day uh, work or have a good work week in general. <laughs> All right. 183. Please stop failing me. Just for the one game. Just for the one game. That one game had so much potential. If I just killed their 183 right off the bat, I could have been flexible to like clear out their rear faster. Maybe we could have even won that. Soroka, 1994. Hmm. Soroka. Lots of uh, RU-esque names here on the NA server today. More than I'm used to, not gonna lie. Hmm. Interesting play by the enemy's object 268 there. Even more interesting play by their M4. Aim, aim, aim. Oh yes. Yes. My life is my life is satisfied. Um, except for our poor Fosh. But hey, you know what? RIP to the M4. So. Oi, 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 oi. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> Uh, even if I lose this game, this is 100% going to be the game I'm happy with. Just because I got the two Chad Hess shots right off the bat. Um, I don't think we're going to lose this though. My team is gaming. On this side. Our T22 should be able to clear that dude out, honestly. Alright, Mr. Caro, 45T over here. Hey, buddy. Hi there. 1,070? Bruh. Buddy, there's quite literally a two-shot IS-7 in front of you. Or are you that... He just shot his reserve shell, too. Uh, you're dead now. Goodbye. Wow, that was really intellectual gameplay on your part, buddy. Oh, snap. <laughs> Bro. What is that tunneling, like, piggy of a Karo? Yeah, just ignore, just, just, the 183 is on a 22 second reload. Let's just ignore hit the IS-7, like, wait, my team actually is losing this? No way, what's our object 260 on full HP been doing all game, dude? Our Sheridan 260 and 3B are shooting at no one, because enemy team has seven tanks up here, and they have successfully, like, thrown the game. I'm impressed, man. Oh my gosh, I was having such a fun game too. Why do I have to roll 1,070 on the hash? Ay ay ay. I don't even play comp for the money, dude. It was just like because I really enjoyed playing with my team. That was all. That's why I never returned no matter really how big the prize pool was. Thank you so much, 260 and Sheridan and 30B for doing nothing all game. <laughs> Takes too much mental power. Enough for a long, long time. Comp, goodbye. I agree, Dragon. It takes too much time in general, not just mental time. Mental power. This team, man. This absolute diabolical team, man. Ay, ay, ay. Rat Caro. Absolute rat. Dumps his full magazine just so he can die, anyways. He literally could have killed the IS-7 and pulled down low, and he would have been safe there. He probably would have farmed a whole lot more damage, too. He wanted revenge for his M4 pal there. Oh, yes. Yeah, so they get the sweaty tune. Uh, technically, my tune is sweaty too, but our Fosh doing zero and our T22 doing 1100 because he yelled the enemy spawn. Not very bueno. Not very bueno. And this is why the 1H3, no matter how good it is, is uh, never going to have a high win rate because it can't, it just can't clutch. It just can't clutch. I don't think, I think Wargaming should just leave the 1H3 as is in the new updates. The, the fact that they're making the hash alpha 1200 and what 20 1230 or something they're taking like 70 off the hash alpha i think um or is it 90 it's gonna have 1210 hash alpha and i'm already getting 1070 hash rolls in this tank actually i don't think a single hash shot like really high rolled last game maybe the 268 hatch one but then they're gonna give it higher standard he alpha of 1390 he alpha like that really gonna make a huge difference like and then they're like buffing its turret armor and reducing its aim time but giving it worse dispersion. They have, I don't think they have a clue how to balance the 183. And you're just experimenting at this point. Because, yeah, I don't think that's going to make the 183 much better. Unless the aim time buff, which low-key a 
one second aim time buff could be massive. Makes that much of a difference. Oh my goodness. Well, that's a good early shot. Kind of just want a nice little dub game here. The last game was going to be good until I rolled 1,070 in my head shot that I molded. Yeah, just sit there, okay, buddy. Just sit there, okay, and see what happens. Look at this flash, guys. Actually took the shot, too. Yoink. Well, that would have been super funny if I'd hit that. I don't think the 83 is going to push for me. We could try. Nice try, buddy. All right, yo, are you actually getting gamed on here by 200 LT? Oh. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my, Amorak, please. No, rip. Okay, that's two, that's two headshots down, boys. This game has potential. V4 just suicided, it does no longer have potential. We're worried about their 183 right now. Let's see what their 183 is doing. Yep. I think the 183 just fired. This will probably be my opportunity to pick up a kill on this piggy here. Nice. We could potentially win this, but I have to not get nuked and I have to make sure M60 doesn't die. Okay, there's their 183. Point two is a one shot. Our M60 is kind of chatting over here to the best of his ability. I don't think it's going to be enough, to be honest. Nice. Nice work, M60. Nice work there. Okay, I'm going to keep pushing in from behind. I'm kind of just going for the W here. Got you, buddy. I got you. Just sit back and chill. There is nothing to worry about. Papa's got your back. Actually, there's a lot of things to worry about the uh, other M60 yelling for you. Although it looks like IS-7 low-key kind of gaming on that side, so I think we should still be fine. Can you hold your position? You don't out-reload him, buddy. Oh my gosh. Quite literally, there goes my win, dude. Well, my easy win, that is. That is a bra momento if I've ever seen one, dude. Our IS-7 was quite literally gaming so hard there. Dude just gets full health, like not full, like 1300 HP racked though. That is a massive F in the chat, dude. Oh no, this dude's just yellowing in now. You know what? Screw it. We gotta kill this dude before their 183 sneaks up behind me. Mr. IS-7's running adrenaline and sped boost. I am impressed. Okay. The big question now, which side is our 183 going to pop up from? What I could do here... Oh, oh my gosh, I, said, I was going to say what I could do here is use the side of my turret to spot. Oh no. Wait, I have the adrenaline though. I have the adrenaline. I have the adrenaline. Oh, he has the adrenaline too. Is he fast enough? Is he fast enough? Five, four, three... Two, one, give me. Wow, what? Is he running rammer? There's no way. Excuse me, I popped adrenaline before this dude. I shot before. Okay, I did shoot after him, but I did pop the adrenaline first. Wow, he actually. Is he running rammer? Well, I guess their 183 is just a gamer because their IS7 could not kill him. Ah, uh, Jesus Fernandez over here in the IS7, dude. I don't know what he was doing. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Almost a Colabana. Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I only fired like one second after him there. And I popped my adrenaline like a whole almost two seconds before him. I should have out reloaded him there. I'm pretty sure. Unless he's actually running Ramro on a 183. Could you imagine? Could you imagine, dude? Could you imagine? That was a bro moment, so I kind of got gamed on him. I didn't think he pushed up already. Also, I like the fact that even though I was, like, spotting that corner, I didn't spot him up at all. Even Because <laughs> apparently, even if the whole rear half of your turret's poking around, you don't spot them up. I should have known he would go from the flank there, though. Honestly, I should have corner peaked facing that end. 
Probably should have just held my tail and yellowed him as well. Made a few mistakes there. Honestly, I've been staring for three hours. My brain cannot even be bothered right now to sweat it out. What be logics? Yeah, well, I thought I was actually going to reload him there because even though I fired like a second after him, I did apply my adrenaline way sooner. But I don't know if adrenaline just like immediately cuts off your reload or if it matters when you apply it. I guess it probably doesn't really matter so much when you apply it. Oh, of course, the dude stops pulling back and just sits in the open. Ay, ay, ay. These players are very uncool. I gave it a lot of potential too. If our IS-7 hadn't gone racked, it was like quite easily the easiest W and then our IS-7 just like throws his tank away. And he, he took like 10 years to do anything to that 183. And then after hitting a shot, he just dies. All right, headshot. Aw. Let's hope for a headshot there. I don't usually like sniping in a 183, but sometimes it's not much you can do like on a map like this. Okay, so we know where their 183 is. Are all these piggies just sitting back framing for me or something? I don't get it. I don't get it. Watch that. Oh, yes! 1358. Let's go, saucy. Oh, it looks like our mouse ram killed their M4. Impressive. Okay. <laughs> this is not going to be a good farm game. This, they're all like have their teams already dead at this point. Also, my team is getting capped out, so that could actually be a legitimate problem here. Yeah, maybe we're gonna be buffing at the same time is not such a bad trade-off for this tank, honestly. I think we're gonna lose the caps because we're not winning the corner. Of course, now the STB just yells through the open. They're taking way too long on the heavy alley, man. They're taking way, way too long on the heavy alley. Come on, pull in. Pull in. Or give me that rear of yours. One of, one of the two. They can't really push on our E4 with me cover firing from back here. That's the only good news. I mean, they could try, that's for sure. I don't think it's going to work out. Uh, no, our E4's just going to get game done. Come on, team. You do have the double caps now. Oh, the e is like right there. I just can't spot him. Really, I can't even spot him from point blank? That, bruh. So the 30B is also back there. I see how it is. I guess. Oh, my team's down so many cap points. It's kind of scuffed, man. Hmm. I don't know what our other 183's been doing. I guess he's been trying to clear out their spawn. Guys, you gotta clear those two isolated TDs. You have two full HP tanks over there. Just do something. Anything. Anything will do at this point, man. There you go. There's 30B. I'm just going to do my best to stay alive for now. That's the only thing I can do that would be helpful for my team. Just not dying. One, three, no. Leave him to me. Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to block you. I'm literally trying to keep you alive right now. Buddy. Wait, wait, Buddy's throwing? <gasps> Buddy threw! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Bruh. Terrible game that was salvaged by their... What was this dude doing? Oh, that explains it. Wow, he actually farmed 3.2.9k damage there. Um, sorry, 183, I wasn't trying to block your shot on the 50M. I was literally trying to keep him alive there because we were like almost winning cap there. The, we were almost running on cap, so I had to do my best to keep that 183 alive. I wasn't even trying to block him. I thought for sure he would hold a shell for the Sturve, because he was a one-shot with Hash. <laughs> but then the Sturve just throws away the game. <laughs> oh my gosh, trade the skill of decreased loading time when HP is low or in same dangerous situation. No, no, my HP was lower, though. D, my HP was lower. My, my skill would have been activated as well. Actually, it was probably activated. Good night, Vanagov. I'll see you later. Take care. Thank you so much for drawing Bob Bob. Good uh, good times as always. Okay. What do we do here, guys? It's a supremacy matchup. Like, low-key, my team is just going to get gamed on on Hill. So I'm actually going to go town. No, one, no one's even going to Hill anyways. Like, we have two very... Wait, we have a version 4 platoon, and they have a concept E5 platoon. Their team's a lot better than ours, probably, but... Wait, what's with the version 4s today? Was this tank sold recently? Because, like... 
No one ever plays it, but recently it's been spammed a whole lot more than I'm used to. I've seen so many version 4s today, I swear. Yeah, they're not on A. Our STB's already, STB's already getting off the hill. Chad, STB plays, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. So, as long as my team holds town after capping the bases, we're fine. I'm gonna see if I can cover STB1 from back here. It looks like he's not trying to run away from the hill. And I would like to do my best to cover, provide cover fire for him. Oh, he's leaving the hill, but mad late. Dude, that's really late to leave the hill. Okay, 121, 215B. The only problem is it's easy to get spotted from back here in a 183. We just have to hold and make them push into us, but our version 4s are already yellowing and dying. My teammates are already doing the Pepega plays. Look at their HP. They're just bleeding out unnecessarily. It is very rat. Alright, maybe just spot them up from back there. Maybe I can get some crossfire from here. Spot them up, boys. You know they're there. I don't want to be the player that sits here, but... Uh, Kron's maybe counter-pushing? Is he? Uh, team? He should be able to hold there, as long as they don't overextend, though. Nice. Nice. Okay, so 183 already took and duking to the face. Or 57's rotating back. Their team's counter-pushing spawn, I gotta go back and help. That's a rip. If my allies don't have me there to block or, or at least deal some like uh, damage, they are definitely going to lose that side. Version 4 one's already dead. Wait, they pushed to the hill? Oh my gosh. I'm looking at the mini map. Look, look at that. Look at that position, guys. Look where these bu <laughs> buddies. It's supremacy. Why are you YOLOing in? Just sit and let them push into you. They will come. There is no reason for you to YOLO in and die. I told you this was scuffed, dude. I mean, we may be able to cap it out. I mean, this has to be here. No, no one else is holding this flank. It's, 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 it's all over. It's over, Anakin. Oh, their team has the high ground. My 268 version 4s, I knew were just going to be terrible. No one platoons V4 tunes that are good at this game. And uh, go figure. They are YOLOing into the open unnecessarily and still getting themselves killed here. Like, bruh, momento. Wait, why aren't my shots on the 183 end in, bruh? Maybe with a kill on this dude? 930, we need to pick up more kills though. That's the essential part here, but I have an E5 and all these other. That bag got big easy all over on me. STB, you just can't sit back all day, buddy. Maybe a high roll? Come on, pick up some kills. Come on, some kills, some kills, some kills. We need kills. One kill. One kill. Oh my gosh, no. Maybe the STB just yelled that 183. We might have had a chance here. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no, he died as well. Oh, we lose the caps. That's a bro momento. I'll let him kill me. I don't care at this point. Let's see how hard our platoon threw. Zero damage Andy in the V4. I don't care that this dude did 2.3. <laughs> Rerolled 105 games. Look at all these tier 10s, dude. Buddy. Our 60 CP did one shot. Our concept did three. Our 57 at least didn't yellow. And our STB actually tried his best. I, I, do, give, I do give credit to the STB. This way, just despise supremacy, man. Makes players play so dumb. It's like your team, your team, <laughs> your team goes for cap control, and then they're like, eh, screw the cap control. Let's just YOLO into the open when the enemy team are stacked with hold down control everywhere. Even with like three of our tanks throwing their vehicles away for free that game, we still got to like 930, like 970 cap points there. So that just goes to show that if our V4s and our 60 TP had just waited in town. Let the enemy YOLO into you, set up to nuke them. There's only two areas they're probably going to go, A cap and B cap. That much is obvious, right? It's supremacy. You have double cap, they're going to YOLO because they're pressured. 
I mean, this, you don't even have to play comp to figure this type of stuff out. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to play comp to figure that type of stuff out. It's just basic logic. If the enemy teams start losing Mega to Cap, they have to push in to retake it. But people always say play Supremacy. Players are easier to predict what they do. I, I beg to differ because no one plays caps properly. You either have one little rat light tank YOLOing everywhere, capping every base, which is fine. Or you have a team like this, which goes for a cap control strat, but then they just completely give it all up to YOLO a bunch of haul down tanks in superior holding positions. It's like, it doesn't make sense. So I, as I, as I just like, I can't stand supremacy, to be honest. I only keep it on so the queues aren't as long. I'd much rather play sweaty haul down games on encounter cap, because at least you can rotate around and deal with people that way. All right, I did unfortunately get spotted by the Karo there. Hmm, 55A is getting kind of yellowed. The white team is being mad aggro up top. What the heck? Okay. Also, my iPad screen brightness is really low. Even though it's at max, it's like, it's auto dimming. I, I think I have to turn that setting off because it's... Oh, my I, I battery's at 69%. Oh, I wonder how that happened. <gasps> we will, uh... We will wait to do some unpleasant things over here to this Karo next time he goes to poke up, maybe. What you find is dead. Come on, Karo. I know you want to. Poke her back up. I can't really push their spawn. I think it's bad to give up all that map control. Hmm. Is that a Waffenträger? No, the Karo spotted me at the wrong time. He backed up at the wrong time. I mean... I don't want to push in with that as bash off your own on the thing. <gasps> oh, lady. Wow. 1300 dash off when I rolled 975 on that dude. That's crazy. And. What on earth are you guys doing? Oh, it's already 3 0. It like hasn't even been a minute. I always pick up a kill for my team so we don't get completely swept. How is it 5 1? It's been a. What? A minute and 50 seconds, basically? It hasn't even been two minutes, dude. I mean, it was just barely two minutes. Oh my. This team is very talented at throwing their tanks away ruthlessly. Now it is two versus five. I am very dead. There's nothing I can do. My Pepega allies YOLO'd or sat in the back of spawn. So we have the 183, the 55A, the ISM that are spawn sniping. And then we have our M6 Yo and our Bat Shatter CC YOLO to the enemy team. And I just hold mid because neither end was good for us. Uh... <laughs> RJ returned to competitive when? Probably never. T30. <laughs> I almost got to T34. By the way, good to see you at 34. Maybe I should be like up right with three lives. Yeah. Well, I did my job. I mean, I can't really blame her. 55A dude was just trying to escape. He probably should have taken the detour route. I didn't even realize we had a. Oh, right. He just sat and spawned and died. This dude did. Oh, boy. This is the painful truth of playing a 183, guys. Especially playing a 183 in same control mode off teams. They are just so. <laughs> they yellow so much. The other yellow already nothing. I don't understand. Luckily, I'm not too fussed about my win rate. 30 day, I'm like running 75%. Right now, I can fix it easily. Well, <laughs> Apatheco, would you sell your account for 75k dollars? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> this account is irreplaceable. It has a lot of things that only this account has. It's worth probably way... Well, maybe not 7500 bucks, but 35k. But it's worth a lot. And honestly, unless the game is truly dying, I don't plan on ever giving this account away or anything like that. Is he winding down? Uh, I started winding down like an hour ago. I just wanted one fun, good dub in the 183, but I've been scammed over and over and over with the most diabolical teammates. Like, they have absolutely zero clue what they're doing. That's the 183 life for you. Maybe 183 armor profile, aim time buff, and slight hash reduction alpha ain't gonna be so bad after having to deal with these teams. Could just go Chad hold on 183 lifestyle. So I got blind fired from that TD bush, maybe. Was it the TD bush? I think it was below it. 
Well, I'll take a blind shot just in case. I don't usually snipe, but I'm gonna go for it this time because once again, I just do not trust my teams anymore. I cannot trust them tonight, at least. Sometimes they're okay. Tonight's not that night. He might have shot me from the right side a little bit. Our TVP's farming up so much. Oh, that's, uh... Oh, gosh. Their, their girl just got wrecked. Where's their Leo at? Oh, there he is. Nice spot next to him, though. Wait, what's their boss shot y'all doing? I like how our Yo's spawn sniping. You get Shad, Yo. Oh, my gosh. I don't have the gun depression. The 183 is such a balanced tank, guys. Very strong, very balanced. Yoink! What? <laughs> okay, okay. That shot was so good. We are leaving that for the last battle. I don't care. My team's gonna win this. I'm pretty. I'm 90% sure they're gonna win this. And I hit one of the most bra momento shots ever. I'll be happy. I'll take this dub. I will not complain. Hi, buddy. It was bound to happen only once, man. I tried my luck twice there. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Where can we go to find more damage? Where can we go to find more damage? Where can we go to find more damage? Oh, 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 no, 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 pull forward there, buddy. What you doing? What you doing there, buddy? I forgot, STV1 doesn't have invis anymore, boys. Let's go. All right. Hello, Mr. E5. How, how is your day going? Hmm. Nice. 1521! <gasps> the high rolls are real! TPP is about to grief the STB, so that's my damage for the game. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Alright, I had enough molding in the 183 for today. This is, by the way, guys, why you should never solo a 183. Even if you try your best to support your allies, it's just such a terrible take. You can't really take any control anywhere in the 183. You just have to kind of sit back or sit second light. Um... No blind shot, sadly. But hey, 1300, 1521, I will take that. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Well, didn't have the best ending to the stream. But hey, you know what? We had good games in the S Conk. At least the, the portion of the stream that I really was highlighting today on, we actually did pretty good. Not too many bad games or anything. Um, yeah, S Conk. Very saucy tank. And I would say it will be pretty good in the future as well once it gets 2950 dpm sure it's not gonna have the same hash but let's be honest throughout the stream how often did you actually see me like spamming hash it was like once or twice every couple of games two or three games or so so i think it's removal of hash in exchange for better base dpm and potentially premium ap is actually gonna be a direct buff to the tank personally uh so if the auction prices drop low enough for the super Kong, might be worth copying. I don't know. It's a very reliable tank. That's all I can say. Usually I run about 80% of the vehicle with no issues. It's not the biggest damage farmer, but in terms of just doing its thing, it does it quite well. GG, six right now, I'll take her. Thank you, GG's. The end was very diabolical. This is why you don't play a 183, guys. Look at the 183 streak. Oh, yes. I forgot we won the hell out skin because I capped, but the 183 is so just rat. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's hard to win in. I do not recommend for playing the 183 in this meta. Also, it's just like extra rack because it's like the Omega autoloader meta. Like everything that could screw over 183, you fire once and the autoloaders all YOLO you. It's, yeah. Wait, wait till next update to play 183. It actually might cook. We'll see. I'll do a stream on it. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's it for me for today. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Thanks for dropping by and for the support as always. It is very much appreciated and I will see you next time. Peace.